Oh, yeah. Motherfucker Tuesday and shit. Yeah, buddy. Uh-huh. Got my joint in my hand. Living in the land of freedom. Block your road if I want to get my way. Look at me smoke all the sweet today. I'll get high and not give a fuck. Look at some ducks and go cluck, cluck, cluck. That's what a chicken does. That's right. I got high. Lost my mind tonight. White boy bars. <laughs> uh huh. Chicken wing, chicken wing, chicken wing. Look at my tiny little dingaling. I'll stock you and grift money from you. Look at me, I wear a size 13 shoe, but you know what they say. So deep in the closet, cause I'm gay. I'm finding Christmas presents. Oh my god, everybody will resent me, cause I'm a liar. That's right, I should be on fire. Predator, map, or pedophile, whatever you call it. I just want to, uh, something that rhymes with that. Chicken fat, wiffle ball bat, <laughs> clap, clap, clap. Share the stream, guys. Let's get it going. Let's pile them in here. Yeah, you better show you shared it. We'll ex we'll exile everybody who doesn't fall in line. That's right. <laughs> uh huh. Welcome to Tuesday morning, guys. I hope you're feeling good. I am. Well, not really, but I am. Uh huh. Here we go. What's up, Negative Nation? Welcome to Nick's Live. It is 10.02 a.m. Eastern Standard Time here in the beautiful state of Indiana. That's right. Welcome to the broadcast. So super good to see you. So super good to see you on this uh, beautiful Tuesday morning. Um, <laughs> hey, Megs, word to your mobs. I came to drop bombs. I got more rhymes than the Bible's got psalms. Oof. Bars, baby. Bars. <laughs> What's going on, everybody? Uh, it ain't easy being any jeezy. It ain't it ain't easy being 44 and uh, single parent either. I don't know why I brought that up, but it is a fact. It is a reality. Hey, I'm going to be addressing some things today, and we'll probably try to get into some uh, video reviews. Uh, but uh, like, there is a stream going on at 12, and I want everybody to understand that it's not even worth tuning in for it. It's not by me. It is by uh bad boy pussy tragic i'm sorry bad boy tragic uh i forgot that's not part of his name but it's by bad boy tragic and he has been on a tear of lies again the same bullshit that he used to manipulate me into slandering and defaming hundreds of people uh he is now going out and doing to me but i had a nice long chat with the marcel becker project last night uh the very marcel becker project that he uh, discredited on multiple occasions, which turns out there was a reason why he did that was because uh, because he was guilty of all the transgressions. That's why he that's why he defamed him so much. Oh, I'll be remiss if I didn't go forward. Gigi and Peanut, if I've been looping you in with uh, with with big trash, um, that's because death has been dropping your names as if you guys are going to be a collective mind hive and be sharing information to try to take me down. Um, I've been told that's not true. I don't know. I'm going to drop it. I'm going to let it go because my problem isn't even with you. It's with trash at this moment. More victims came forward. Victims, yes. Victims. Victims. This dude. This dude was in females DMs. 
telling them that I paid him to collect information, that I used my uh, giveaways as a means to collect information for people, that I paid him to collect content and archive it. Why would I pay you to archive anything when people literally do this for free for me? And I don't even ask them to do it. They just do it because they're watching it. Oh, what else has he said? He's on a tear. All these things that he's saying about me, he was perfectly fine with up until he got exposed as being an alleged map. Yeah, this isn't people with hurt feelings. This is victims. This individual has preyed on multiple women in my community. And I had no idea. He was doing it right under my nose. You know, for a while there, I was wondering why my community was shrinking, why people were leaving, why people pulled their contributions and just disappeared. Well, after I outed his ass, they all started coming forward. He was lying to them. He was lying to them. He was scaring them. He was making them believe that I'm collecting information. I want to tell you something. There is somebody in my community that I, I text and talk to and call. I didn't even remember their last name, and it pops up on my screen every day. Uh, what do I do myself? I'm sorry. Oh, archive my stuff. Yeah, Missy, and I, I don't. Yeah, I didn't pay you. I mean, if 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 I, I I'm known to throw you ice cream money for the kids, but I mean I don't pay you for that job. You know, randomly it'd be like, oh, ten dollars, go get ice cream. That's it. It's not like thanks for archiving. <laughs> it's just my friend, dude. It's my friend. She got. She got a busy life. And she helped me out too. So that's called taking care of your friends. I don't go out and lie on her. I don't go out and email her friends and convince them that she's up to some fuck shit to make them afraid of her like you did, Matthew. Um, pay Missy. <laughs> uh, yeah, buddy. Yeah, it'd be like, take the kids for milkshakes, but not a weekly check for clipping stuff. I have bought Tragic and his kids dinner. I have. Yeah, I collect my own information. I got to take these off. These things are noise canceling and they're sitting over my... Look, I really don't even need headphones right now, but I need to hear what the... I need to make sure my music and audio is good. Um, dude, it's, this stuff has got me sick because he was so deep in my head that I managed to harm a whole bunch of people with my own bullshit. Uh, we're perpetuating. It was his bullshit. I thought I was being honest, but I wasn't. I wasn't being honest at all. So this is this is a nauseating situation. And now I want you to n understand going forward what this individual is going to do. I want you to look at everything he did to Frank. I want you to look at everything he did to Shabisky. I want you to look at everything he did to Missy. And I want you to understand one very important thing that going forward, this is what he's going to do to me now. And I am not going to go tat, tit for tat with Matthew, who uses his sister. He has nothing to do with PayPal name to collect PayPal payments, which is essentially tax fraud. Now that Biden has passed a uh, has passed a I don't know what the fuck you call it, but anyway, they're going to tax PayPal. So you collecting money under somebody else's name is putting her at risk for uh, tax evasion. So what you are doing is fraud at this point, allegedly, allegedly. But I wondered why when I sent you money, it went to a Michelle. Why did it go to a Michelle? You said that was your girlfriend? Is that what you told me? So enjoy your grift under somebody else's name that is going to be uh, tracked by the IRS now. I'm sure your sister will love, the, uh, love an audit in the future. I'm not saying I'm calling anybody. I'm just saying the, the IRS are dicks. All right. <laughs> you have no electricity. You got bad weather. We're about to get bad weather. And our, our lines are about to be ripped down, baby. Uh, Negs understand it's not easy to atone. This is not being taken lightly. No, this sucks. It makes me sick. She's going to be responsible for the tax on that. So if you're sending uh, bad boy tragic money, it's not going to him. It's going to a sister or a relative that he has nothing to do with. He's collecting money under false pretenses. The dude's a predator. The dude is a grifter and a con. 
And you can get mad all you want, Matthew, and you can go out there and because look, I know what you're gonna do. Next you're gonna be like, Negs is a predator, Negs is a pedo, this, that, everything in between. You've already started your campaign of lies. You already have a basket full of lies before you already. And the only people who are going to take you serious are the individuals who have a derangement for me. That's it, and that's fine, because I expect it to happen, because I consider myself a smart individual, but I'm very emotionally driven, and you somehow managed to weaponize me for a good year. So I expect honest, not on. well, I mean, I fuck, I don't know. I guess they could be honest. They could just be easily manipulated. I expect vulnerable, innocent, damaged people to be attacking me on your behalf, because that's what you do. And nobody could deny that. As I said last night, I'm sure the I don't I don't even know who the Mar Marcel Becker project is. It doesn't matter who they are. Everything they had was was right. I saw clips last night of you taking an Elmo doll and being sexual with your cat. I saw you make a joke out of rain, which is a which is for people who are victims of sexual assault. I saw you ask a minor if they wanted to have gay sex. Your words. Nobody else's. Your words. Those are your words, homie. Those are your words to choke on. So, after talking to the project, it made sense why you were projecting so hard. You have your own children as mods in a Discord server where you share sexual content. Did, were, didn't you just literally drag Shabisky for filth because, and Missy cleared up, she didn't say you had to be 15 to join his server. You had to be 15 to join Discord, Tragic. You might want to get your story right and get your words right, okay? You might want to do that because it's awfully funny that it's, it's, it's the bodega server. I was in it. I didn't see any of this fuck shit going on, but apparently it was going on while I was in there. But here's the deal. You will not find any. You will not find any screenshots. You will not find any. You will not find my involvement in any of those conversations in which they were taking part in that were inappropriate on that level. I came in and bagged on low cows and dipped because it was weird. I felt like everybody in there was weird, and I was in nine different servers just because people are like, "I have a server." Oh my god, next is in my server. I left them all one day because I was sick of it. Yes, he sent his kid out to threaten another content creator's child. And make a, he, he sent his own minor child to make a video on the internet to express his sexual desires for an adult woman. Tragic. Tragic. These are things you did. And if anybody wants the proof, I got it. I got all of it. I, t I spent three hours last night. Actually, I spent my entire day going over Tragic's entire backlog of transgressions. Something I should have done months ago and saved myself all of this heartache. But everything happens for a reason. I just want you guys to know going forward that he is going to do the same thing to me that he did to Frank, Shabisky, Missy, Mothra J, and anybody else that he can. He is going to find another uh, Negs to fight his battles. He's not going to find anybody with my voice and my uh, my influence, which I, I really am ashamed for taking advantage. For not, I didn't take advantage of my influence. I misused my influence is what I did. Um, so good luck to you, Matthew. It's no wonder you were trying so hard to peg Frank and peg Shabisky and peg Pipmunk as all these sexual predators. Because it was you that needed to be looked at. It was you that needed to be under the microscope. And you were trying your best. You needed me to keep people off of you. Because you knew if you shielded yourself with me, that gave you some credibility. Well, you killed my credibility, son. It'll be a cold day in hell before I ever come up here and regurgitate another motherfucking thing that I hear. If I see it, cool. If I don't see it, it's an allegation. I'm over it. I'm over it. I'm very passionate about uh, about combating uh, sexual predators and pedophiles. And I can't believe that you use that and, and under false pretenses, knowing that I was a victim of sexual abuse. You fucking sick, twisted fuck, dude. You sick, twisted fuck. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah, Dark Ninja. I forgot the Jared Genesis uh, fan. The other sex offender. The other predator on the internet, right?
And RSN, I privated my videos because now I have to question whether you're going to team up with me because everybody's dropping names right now. You can unban Keisha, by the way. Can you? Are you able to unban Keisha? We've spoken. Um, so, thank you very much. It's, it's, it's Axe. Nobody knew. I didn't. I didn't tell anybody. We we had chatted. It's okay. Thank you, Jana. Though Jana just doing her job. That's what she doesn't get paid for. I don't send Jana a, a stipend every week, like for modding. <laughs> Well, RSN's not a pedophile. No, he's not. He's just a bit of a uh, he's a bit he's a bit predatorial, and that's documented for the record too. In the last two months, I have ran into two uh, sexual predators. Uh, one in my real life, and I cut ties with uh, friends I've had since the '90s because they lied to me about a convicted sex offender hanging out with us. One that preyed on children, no less. So I quit hanging out with those people because they don't give a fuck about me. As far as I'm concerned, if I if I collapse, they leave me there to die. Okay, people like that. And then you got this Matthew guy, this tragic guy, who uh, goes from community to community to community, latches himself on the women, uses fear tactics, begs for nudes, blackmails them, grifts money from them. Dude, this is I've seen all of it. I've I've seen every bit of it. The moment you got caught out. I, I'm like I'm up to 15 people. You were you were up to you were in so many women's DMs, scaring them, making them think. By the way, if you've had a giveaway with me, I don't remember your fucking address, nor do I keep it. Okay, I this motherfucker and him, him and Death are out there running these ops all day long. This is this is why they're paranoid because this is all they do. So you got him paranoid about everybody being on that fuck shit when he's on that fuck shit, and he's got everybody. He's he's paranoid that everybody's a pedophile. So RSA, if you're going to team up with this guy, I want you to know that hating me is not worth it. You can hate me, but teaming up with him because you hate me is not worth it. I just learned a valuable lesson in teaming up with people because they don't they, they dislike the same people. I learned a valuable lesson in that. And if you want to learn that lesson too, I encourage you to team up with Bad Boy Tragic. I do. If you would like to learn that lesson too. Because as far as I'm concerned, you still have good people in your community. And I feel like they're being held hostage. CJ, because we know how you operate with your community as well. Nudes, blackmail, sharing DMs, uh, revenge porn, all that stuff. We know how you operate as well. So it's a scary concept for you and Tragic to be teaming up. That's like Predator Incorporated. Right, DC. I mean, like, I see that now. I don't even know. I don't know where you live, Missy. I know what state you live in, but I don't know what city you live in. I have no idea what city you live in. I am not a fucking predator. I am not collecting information on people. I collect information on people I may have legal problems with because um, people are different online than they are. in. They're, they're saying one thing in real life and then saying another online. Yeah, that shit, I, I track that because that's my fucking life. But outside of that, why the fuck would I track anybody else? What am I doing? What am I gaining from it? I want to entertain and make money and pay my bills. Mm -hmm. I don't even really want to be talking about this. But we have to because I gave so much time to uh, the lies and the bullshit. <sighs> yeah, my memory is garbage. I'm a horrible liar. I'm not good at being sneaky. Ask my mom. I'll get my mom up here. She'll tell you how bad I am at lying and being sneaky. I suck at it. I am not I am not good at espionage. I'm not. I'm too honest for that shit. And I could still sit here even after the last year of all that bullshit. I could still sit here and tell you with a straight face that I never once lied. I never once lied. I didn't. Intentionally. I reported bullshit that somebody else told me. But me personally, I never fabricated the lie myself. I am 100% responsible for regurgitating lies, but I never made up lies myself. I just I just ran with other people's lies, which is not any better. It's not any better. It's probably worse. Yeah, I don't remember your address either, Christine. I've shipped stuff all over the world, guys. I ship stuff to, I used to ship stuff to hundreds of people on eBay. Like I have time to fucking. I got her buys your information. And besides, it's not hard to get people's information anyway. It's called a phone book. <laughs> it's just a phone book.
Yeah, he was saying everybody was stalking his children and they were going to follow them to school because he, but he's using his children for his own harassment. That's the problem. Is Tragic wants to continue. Dude, this guy is, he's scary. And he should be, his activity needs to be tracked. I'm glad, look, I'm going to tell you something right now, Trash. Um, you could go and say whatever you want. You've already said about 15, 20 lies. I'm not getting into this debunking everything you say about me. I am going to get into debunking everything you said about everybody else. However, going forward, everything you said about Frank, a lie. That's crude as fuck. Everything you said about Shabisky, a lie. That That's Shabisky. Everything you said about Pitmunk, a lie. Everything you said about Missy, a lie. All of it was lies. Every single bit of it while you were weaponizing your minor child to tell a grown woman online that he was sexually attracted to her. You don't find that a little pedo-ish trash to put a minor on the internet to tell a grown woman that he's sexually attracted to her and what he wants to do to her sexually. You put him up to that. You don't find that problematic at all. Imagine if Frank had done that. Imagine if Shabisky had done that. Imagine had I known about this six months ago when I should have listened to everybody. Yeah, if I was stockpiling everybody's details, why didn't I have your info? Because I trusted you, dude. I trusted you. I did. You conned me so hard, dude. It's gonna be a, this is going to be a tough one for me to swallow at my age. Uh-huh. This is going to be a tough one to swallow for me at my age because uh, you took advantage not only of my, uh, of, of my generosity, but of my victim status as a sexual abuse survivor. You took advantage of that, too. That's pretty fucked up, but that's what you do as a predator, right? As an alleged map. What is it with you guys and Fred Durst and minors is what I want to know. You're the second guy I know who looks up to Fred Durst who, who's creepy around underage kids. It's fucking weird. It's fucking weird, man. Fred Durst isn't... You guys do Fred Durst so dirty. You're like dressed in like 1997 Fred Durst. Motherfucker's an artist and creative and eccentric as fuck. It's so crazy. You're like, yeah, boy! You want to go to Disneyland, kids? Yeah, I got to get my merch re-going. Hey, yeah, they got nuked. Two people on the internet thought they wanted to starve me out and not, feed, not be able to feed my kids, so they took all my income. Thanks for that, by the way. Appreciate that. I'm sure that'll never happen to you in the future because of karma. Yeah, I've, I don't use the information I have on people. I, people send me PayPal's with their addresses. I, that, if I use that, I'm going to lose my PayPal. I'm going to lose what like, little credibility I have left. Have I looked up people's information before? Yeah, I have because I needed to. I felt like at the time. I did see your Malibu's uh, most wanted meme. That was cute. I would hope Peanut and Gigi aren't go aren't aren't this blinded by Anthony Negg's uh, sentiment that they're going to team up with this guy. I bet if they want to, that's fine. I mean, Peanut's already laughing at my looks anyway, so sick and struggling. My problem ain't with them, though. And moving forward, I'm dropping it. I don't care. Whatever. I mean, like, I can sit here and be a fucking crybaby about it. This shit with Tragus is bigger than bigger than Elvis. It was very accurate. It was. It was very accurate. So, I, I guess what I'm saying is, is Tragus going to be live at 12? And with special guest, one, his whole setup and letting it run for 21 hours, the dude ain't got nothing because he would have done it days ago, is all a mindfuck. He believes that he's the master psychologist and the master mindfucker out of all of this, which he kind of is, but he uses, he's a con man. So, and I'm not saying, and 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 I tend, I think I had, we, our community, we, we've attracted each other because we're all, real, and I, you could shake your head at this. We're all very kind people. We're damaged. We, we have a lot of really, uh, and I don't mean this in a bad way. A lot, a lot of us have emotional problems and, and, and some mental issues. And fuck off. Judge us for it. I don't care. But we, we're there for one another. And this guy took advantage of that. This guy took complete advantage of that. I, I mean, I'm not kidding you. I'm not lying to you when I say he had females scared to talk to me. And I feel like I'm one of the more approachable people on the internet. Fuck, I'm more, I'm more readily accessible than most content creators. And I think that's probably part of my problem. But... He don't have a special guest. He don't. 
who's he gonna have on that has anything on me i've already told all of these fools for years drop what you've got now pressing forward he probably gonna doctor some shit because i've seen that happen already mm -hmm. um he's probably he's gonna lie he's gonna he's gonna refer to me as a predator he's gonna do a lot of stuff he's gonna say i paid him to do this but what he doesn't realize is while he's saying all this he's just saying i'm a piece of shit who tolerated this other piece of shit for a year for my own benefit i want you to keep that in mind no matter what he says it doesn't make him look good he's just saying i'm a big piece of shit who used a bigger piece of shit is what is his argument that's his argument <laughs> um oh no 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 yeah i was unhinged dc yes i was um i can admit that i was i was unhinged and no one could talk to me you're right no one could talk to me you're right i'll admit that i'll, I'll sit here and admit that i was and he but he did he, he i believed him though that's my point when i say he conned me what i meant is his word was the gospel to me and i feel really foolish i embarrassed really because uh this is the third predator to infiltrate my life and i'm really it fucks my head up because i'm trying to protect this kid down here this kid almost spent time with that motherfucker in june because he's going with me to my good he's almost 14 he and, and i and i'll protect him and it's gonna be all women anyway so um married women mostly so he's going with me i almost had him around trash what were you been doing were you been trying to take pictures of him or something i don't know what your goal is bro you seem awfully just ugh. Well, you know, uh, DC, I, I paid the ultimate price, and I'm still going forward. I can't speak on it, but going forward, I got other problems stemming from it. So, a big lesson learned. It's not. Um, it's not. I'm not trying to make light of it either. I mean, guys, I I didn't sleep well last night. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't sleep well last night. Like whatever scarlet letter I walk away from this with, I deserve. I've earned it, and and I'm I'm man enough to 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 bear that because I fucked up. I even told I told my mom what I told my mom what happened. That's how this is fucking with me. I told my mom what happened, and you know she's a mom. She tried to make me feel better about it. And I was like, no, you don't understand. I was like, I fucked up bad. It's like I really really fucked up bad. I did things that we're not indicative of my character or even uh how i feel about the world so i fucked up and i told her i was like there's really nothing you can say to fix this i'm just trying to tell you how i feel <laughs> and she's like eh, okay you know because she hasn't been watching me she stopped watching me when i got eaten off of youtube that my mom used to watch i just i just want to be Hello, Straubs. I just want everybody to know that this guy is going to do the exact same thing to somebody else. He's already done that with Dark Ninja, and he's probably going to try to get, I don't know, Flaming Amy, anybody with a channel. Anybody with a channel, because the guy can't oh, grow. Oh, so sweet, fun to my little old rocket program. DR Rabble not goes cheered. X500. Much love to you, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Thank you, Dr. Apple Knockers. All hail, please. I trusted, I trusted a predator. There's no if, ands, or buts about Tragic being a predator. He's a predator. He's a, he's a sexual predator. I've seen his DMs. I've seen what he's done. This dude came in my chat and talked about shaving his sack every time. All he talked about was his genitals. All he did was share pictures about this and that about his body. All he did was get in people's DMs and try to beg for nudes. He's a sexual predator. Oh, he tried to be creepy with flaming Amy. She wasn't having it. This is a fucking mess. Like death would come to me and ask how to talk to you about certain things to have the best outcome. I thought at the time that it was out of care and concern, but now I see it was manipulation. Hey, hussy, you hear that? That your manager was trying to figure out how to finesse me? What was it you said, hussy, that I did that I needed to keep you sweet even though I have... 
I have implored of you to listen to me for five seconds to realize that what you're saying is a fallacy that you were spoon fed by death. No, I said I needed to make sure nobody poisoned you against me, which is what happened. <laughs> it wasn't about deception, Ken. It was about protecting the sanctity of the fucking relationship I thought we had. But as you can see, Ken, this is what I was talking about. This is exactly what I was talking about. Is now you're poisoned against me. You're a pariah, bro. Pfft, I, no, I apology. Cool, thanks, whatever. But still, fuck off. Oh, Straubs, you, you would have fucking crescent kicked him. I know, I've been getting this for a week, uh, bud, babe. I tried to warn y'all. I did, you did. And, and you can, I mean, like, I'm, I'm never going to hear the end of it. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. I don't understand how they teamed up either. He may he may be just finessing her too. Who knows? This dude's doubling down, tripling down, and is buried in lies. Yeah, he has everyone freaked out. I hope he gets off on this. I mean, I mean, what's he gonna do? Is he gonna have one of his minor children make another sexually laden video directed towards one of our adult members? Dude, that is the most disturbing thing I've ever heard of a grown man doing with their child. I can't believe, you know, I only went to bat with you on the where's my wiener clip because I was like, yes, it is. That's pretty good. Thank you for subscribing. All hail, bud, babe. I, I, I found it. Uh, thank you, Scotty. All hail, Scotty. Um, I was like, yeah, that's fucking cringy. But you know, they're male children. Whatever. You know, we, we not, not that me and my kids sit around talking about our dick and balls all the time, but dick and balls are brought up because we have dick and balls, okay? It just happens. It's a thing. But then, but then, is that, is that, uh, is Missy here? Is that you, Missy, bud, babe? Yeah, buddy. Um, um. Fuck, I can't remember what I was saying, man. This shit's got my mind blown, dude. I feel like I, I feel like everybody's already tired of hearing me talk about it, but I can't. Look, I gotta I gotta talk this out, man. I gotta talk this out. I, I I've I mean I sat here last night, and it doesn't matter how I feel because a lot of innocent people were um were harmed. I, I and maybe I'm trying too hard to convince everybody that I'm fucked up from it. <laughs> because I've I've just always said what I've said, I'm not fake, I don't lie, I don't chase I mean I'm, I'm chasing clout, whatever. I'm not, there's no clout to chase with this for me. This is either people go fuck you and I'm done or I get a second chance and I learn and I move forward and I don't do that again. Okay, you believe it started when they were talking behind the scenes, the collective film, Froggy Trash, Death of Pancakes were all watching her like a hawk and Death would keep up with hours. She was in Discord. I think that's what started their personal relationship. Yeah, Death poisoned me against her and that's why I blocked Keisha to, uh, again, His stories are adding up, dude. There's so many lies that it's like everything he said is uh, is a fallacy. Weasel Needle gave Nick's cheeseburger money, honey, 100. Thank you, Breeze. All hail Breezel Maydell, please. Yeah, and, and I'm going to tell you right now, um, and, and this isn't, I don't want anybody to, I, the, the oh, thing with. Oh, you so sweet, fun to my little old rocket program. Jules in 95 cheered. X1000. Thank you, Julesy. Uh, all hail, Julesy. The thing with uh, Missy has been weighing the heaviest on me. Uh, I've referred to myself as a monster many times over the last few days, and I stand by it. I don't know if, if, if you disagree with me or not. I was, oh, it, it, ain't you so it was, sweet fun to my little old rocket program. Oleander Miss Straubs cheered. X500. All hail, Straubs, please. Sorry, I know. this. It, it's live streaming. This happens. Um... But the thing with Missy is weighed on me heavy because I had no right. I had fucking zero right, man. Uh, ultimately, I'm going to end up in therapy. I'll just be honest with you guys. Uh, it's right down the road. I'm going to therapy because there's something wrong with me. Um, there's something wrong with me, and I know what it is. I know what it is. I got shit from my childhood. I got shit stemming from my 20s. I got shit stemming from my 30s. And my 40s have been trash, 
Okay. My, all I've watched is people I love die for five years solid. That's it. I've lost so many people that I was spiritually bonded with that I, I feel hollow sometimes. So I've been dealing with that shit. And maybe I'm trying to replace the people I cared about in my life with randos on the internet because I'm losing actual physical people. During COVID, when I couldn't even touch them or reach out to them under this whole lie that they got us, they got us believing. I misrepresented this community, I misrepresented myself, and I caused other people to misrepresent themselves. I preached about group psychosis, yet I was a victim of it. <laughs> the irony, the irony of it. Well, Missy, I just, I mean, I'm, it's good, I mean, I'm gonna, yeah, yeah. I mean, I just, this just, this just not, it's just not me. It's just not me. I fight so hard for innocent people to do that. <sighs> you know, all I do is advocate for my child every other day. Every other day. I, I, I jump through hoops to keep a mask off his face in this school because, uh, well, one, he's got porcelain skin and it gets shaved he's autistic he can't breathe it's it's then it, once you put a mask on an autistic child they're, they're going to spiral everything is going to start click all the emotions all the sensories and then it's fucked and and my 20 year old when he was in school I, I don't know how many years i was in front of that principal eye to eye scowling over their mistreatment of people with disabilities so to go out here and do this is is it's really it's just, it, I need therapy now. So, yeah, anyway, I'm not going to sit here and try to try to plead my case for my character. It is what it is. The only thing I can do going forward is to make sure that uh, other people don't become a victim oh, of Matthew. Oh, so sweet, fun to my little old rocket program. Oleander may Straubs cheer. X five hundred. Uh, thank you, Straubs. All hail Straubs, please. And what's you know, but like I need to circle back to to tragic because I'm really questioning what your motive was trying to come to this Airbnb. Um, this oh, by the way, I'll just tell you, it, I canceled it. I did. I canceled it. Uh, so you can't get on any fuck shit, and because you jeopardize everybody's safety. The moment you came into this community and made people fear for their safety to talk to me. So uh, I canceled it. I'm not taking a risk. You are a special individual. And it's no wonder there's a whole group of people that track you. So, uh, uh, I mean, like, <laughs> yeah. So anybody that was involved with the uh, air, the, the the vacation in June, just get a hold of me privately. We're we're still doing something, but it's not. It's a very it's a private affair now, thanks to uh, thanks to my inability to sniff out an actual predator amongst us. So. You know you. You know what a tough, you know what a really hard part about this is too? That th th This is all the complex parts. I'm turning the music off. I'm going to turn the music off. I just want to have a conversation. A big part of this is that I went out there and I thought I was, in, in my madness, thought I was defending my little boy who passed away. And I besmirched his memory with this shit. That's, that, that sucks. That really really sucks now were there people who said stuff that i needed to to browbeat yeah and i should have left it focused at that but i didn't i didn't i didn't get my apologies to try to have a conversation and move on because that's hard to deal with man when people say fucked up shit about something you had no control over but yet you had to deal with emotionally you know what i'm saying so i have to redeem myself at least in my eyes to my uh to my son you know he may not be here but he's still he's still here with me so I gotta redeem myself to him now, going forward because I fought. You know, I I did things that that just I, it's just embarrassing and it's humiliating and it's gross. So I mean, 
That's a that's just so all this is all such a bitter handful of shit to eat. I hate it. I hate every bit of it. And I'm afraid and I'm afraid this motherfucker's already already got people scared, intimidated. He's already grifting people, got blackmail on them, got their nudes. He said he would see you without seeing you. That's criminal. That's criminal. That's absolutely criminal. I can't. This. I just can't. Like, what the fuck, man? I got sorry. I got to turn music on now. Now it's bugging me being completely silent. Just I just, you know, I mean, like I didn't listen to anybody, so I don't expect anybody to listen to me. I really don't. But the people who do listen are the ones who should be hearing the message and will convey it. Um, he's not done. But, I mean, I have to convey to him, like, dude, after this stream, I mean, like, I, the only time I'm going to, going forward, if I need to talk about this, I will. I'm not going to address any bullshit you make up from this point forward because you, you and Death have already lied through your teeth so much and nobody cares. Your audience is diminishing. You've lost all credibility. For poor hussy, you fucked him. You fucked him. I don't. His audience, once they find out all this stuff, they're probably they're gonna dip. You said you played me for a year, and then you said you trolled me back. Like, what are you talking about? So you're still a piece of you're still a piece of shit, no matter what you say, dude. Because you either played me for a year or you were just trolling me. Which is it? Which deception is it? As I didn't deceive you, you want to believe that I did or get everybody to believe that I deceived you, that I'm the actual villain. Who's the one who sent their kid out to make a video directed at a grown woman, their underage child? Who was that? Was that you or was that me? Because I, I'm pretty sure it was you. Who was the one who made a Kermit the Frog video? I'll show it to you. You want to see it? You guys want to see some stuff? I've been talking an awful lot. I should just show you some stuff. I should just show you some stuff. Been talking an awful lot here. Let's see here. Okay, first. Tragic. Likes to make jokes about sexual abuse survivors. This is a video that he uploaded that's supposed to be considered comedy. Um, this is posted by the Marcel Becker Project. I'll post the link in the chat. You guys can go. They've got everything documented. They've been tracking this guy for a, a long time. Listen to this shit. He's this is his, this is him making comedy about sexual abuse survivors. I'm talking about incest and and, and child molestation and rape. Hello. Today, I wanted to talk to you about a great organization called RAIN. Now, if anyone ever comes up to you and says, give me your money, call RAIN. If anyone ever tries to pull down your pants, call RAIN. If anyone says, hey, give me money so I can go buy some dirty 30s, call RAIN. You're not alone. I'm going to put the phone number below. So call today. We're here to help you. Call Rain. It's the Rape and Incense Network. Call Rain. Call Rain. Call Rain today. You don't have to be alone against incest and rape. Hello. Better yet, I'm just going to do this. We did DC's video yesterday. I got shit to do. Walmart fucked my grocery order up. I can't pick it up till 9 o'clock tonight. Hopefully, hopefully we're not getting butt fucked by Mother Nature by then. Um, we're just going to watch Mothra J. I, I, I slagged off on this dude's glasses. That's really about all I said about Mothra J. Uh, his, his, his glasses remind me of a, a funny uh, comedy video that John, John Lejoie did. But that's not that's not even a point of contention because this dude is just presenting the facts and he took a lot of time 
to put this together. And I think that out of respect for any transgressions I may have levied his way. Oh, real quick, by the way, this is proof that that came from Tragic's channel, by the way. I'm sorry, that last, that Kermit video, it wasn't manufactured, it wasn't made. This is Tragic in his Discord server on September 16th, 2020, posting the Kermit the Frog PSA for rain. And somebody below says, oh my God, was that supposed to be a joke? So this, he can't, he can't say anything. It's, this is the receipt. He uploaded it. Okay, so I just want to make that clear. Going forward, if I'm gonna if I'm gonna levy anything at anybody, I'm gonna just I mean I, 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 if I even speak about this, like I said, after this thing with tragic, I'm gonna go back to cooking and a comedy. I can't, I can't fucking do this sinister drama anymore, man. It's exhausting. It's it's destroying my soul, and I'm letting monsters into my life. I gotta get the fuck away. Yeah, Marcel is, yeah, listen to Bud, babe. He, Mar, Marcel is, I don't know who they are, but they have the, they, they've got the proof and they, they're doing the right thing. So, but I want to get into this with Mothra J. He lays it out and I'm going to speed it up a little bit. And he is frustrated and I, he has every right to be and he could tell me to go fuck myself too, which he probably will. But uh, the, the, the fact of the matter is, is I got nothing against this guy. Any information fed to me was by tragic. Doesn't uh, excuse me for being a retard. But, by the way, this replay is going up on YouTube. I'm not leaving this foul shit on my Twitch. Twitch is purple. YouTube is red. Okay. <laughs> anyway, this is Mothra J. Uh, I know that Traj has had many uh, interesting things to say about this individual, which were all false. So, uh, yeah. I, it's going to be up there with my all-time favorite Photog video for, for reference. Just want to put that out there. It and is I sped up. Today's it is sped up. Go three and a half hours, like yesterday. Didn't originally plan that, but it was fun. I'm gonna try I not to pause hey, too much. So, the video I'm today's video, obviously, heavy subject, heavy subject. Just gonna throw out that out there. It's not exactly something that is is something people are comfortable with. And if you are upset at any point in this, totally understand. Uh, feel free to leave leave the stream if this isn't fluff to hype it up either this is he's telling you if you're bothered by this topic trigger fucking warning i'm telling you right now and and and, and i i'm gonna keep I'll, I'll evoke my 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 sexual abuse as much as i want because i had to fucking endure that and i still have to endure that and guys the guy's dead but i still have to endure that um th this is this has opened up a pandora's box that i thought I had welded shut a long time ago. So I don't, if I can deal with it, I don't know. So I, I just don't want anybody else to walk away from this with a negative experience. So if you want, come back later, do whatever you want, but understand that the topic today is heavy, heavy to say the least. So I've been looking at a lot of stuff the last few weeks and I've been talking to a few people. I've been doing my own research on the side to get a picture of just where the concept of this video comes from and there's a reason it's taken so long to come out and that's because I, I genuinely needed to look at more things and now i'm comfortable to give my opinion and i need to strongly say that again this is my opinion on the matter feel free and i encourage you all unlike tragic and his audience to go do the research yourselves because once you actually start doing the research you'll notice some of the things i'm starting to notice and i mean better late than never but jesus christ it's coming in we're doing it I mean, people have done it for us, but we're seeing it, and yeah, it's disturbing. So, the fact that we were that I was ignorant and and, and, and nobody could talk to me—that's on me. Um, so, why do I know this video is is definitely going to have an effect? Well, it's already having an effect before I even uploaded it because it comes as no surprise. Tragic got very upset that I put this this video out there. Just the title alone. Within the last few days, he's sort of been on a on a PR kick to try to get ahead of me. Now, what's what's hilarious is uh, he's already he's already shown his ass. So this was in his analysis video of uh, Mama J, and it was funny. It was funny when I read it because he was he was already setting himself up for failure. Because I can guarantee you, you're not going to see Tragic's kids whatsoever seen in this. You'll see them mentioned, but you won't see Tragic kid Tragic's kids or videos of his kids because I don't really fuck with that outside of one instance. And I caught my I caught myself and I made an edit. But I also want it to be known. He's very paranoid about people uh, getting wise to his shtick. He's very paranoid. Pretty obvious by the way he's been trying to get ahead of me. On top of it, 
this was also from the, the tragic video, has really nothing to do with the subject matter of the video. But uh, if somebody could explain to me who's lobbying tragic, I would love to see the evidence of it. I personally would love to see the evidence of it because uh, that's uh, that's not how lobbying works. That's pretty straightforward, cut and dry. Not not how lobbying works. But you know, I digress. No one is no one is paying him, by the way, to not upload the video about Frank because Frank doesn't really care. Just don't use his material without making commentary or edits because tragic tragic doesn't like that. So another thing. And this was in the same video. This is a big lie, and I'll explain why. So, as you can see, there's no CP in my server. Let's say CP is in it. If so, the time frame is when they controlled my server and had mod access, which is on them. So he's trying to get ahead of the fact that Daniel Minecraft Man flashed a dick with, like, maggots in it, and I'm pretty sure he posted a photo of his ass on that server. Obviously, somebody who was in there can correct me at any point, but I want to point out, this is not true whatsoever, based on the fact that Tragic and his son were admins in a server. They also had sock two sock accounts that were admins in the server. So... If they are the ones in charge of the server, it doesn't really matter who the mods are. They are, once again, the admins of his server. They are in charge of the server. Tragic, no one is fucking stupid. You are, but no one is. Your audience is, but no one else is buying this bullshit. Another thing. This is Tragic from 111 that uh, the Marcel Becker Project tweeted this out. As you can see, he's already said, I'm not worth his time. But why is he addressing it? Think about that. One, is it because, once again, my channel is actually more successful than his channel right now? In terms of audio engagement, in terms of actual viewers watching, in terms of likes, the only area he really has me is on subs. But his channel, before he hit his sub count and then started lying about how many subs he had, was uh, not so good. He actually was losing subs because, shocker, he probably used some bot accounts to uh, push his numbers up, which, not outside the realm of possibility for him. Not outside the realm of possibility. So once again, we're already seeing a pattern of tragic sort of contradicting himself. And he does it a lot. And before he says, well, I'm, I'm joking, I'm joking. You don't joke, motherfucker. You don't joke. You are constantly, constantly caught in lies. Constantly caught in them. And then you have to pivot. Or you need some okay, so, uh, someone to hold your hand in interviews like Death did last night. Okay, so what he did when when uh, our relationship imploded was he went out and immediately and tried to pretend that he was trolling. You know, like like he's saying, he's trying to pivot. He's trying to change the narrative. He's trying to, one, he doesn't want to look like a bitch. Like he got outed. And now he needs me to be the whipping boy. Keep that in mind. And Beth has a great point. Beth has a great point. There's a reason I don't really uh, delete his the bot accounts from the bodega anymore. And that's because I realized they're actually really good for my channel growth. Because one, I don't take anything they say fucking seriously. And two, they usually leave like 10 comments total in their thread. So that helps me overall in the algorithm. Once again, I don't really care about the views, but it's funny that I'm more successful as a channel than both Tragic and them subsequently. So let's move into the video. Okay, thank you, now, babe. I'll be sure to share that I'm resource as well. going to use a for what I'm going to define as a pedo slash sexual predator. And I'm going to use, I hate to say this, I'm going to use WebMD because even though it's not the most precise definition, it's a very accurate definition of what a sexual predator is. So... I will scroll up a bit. Boop, boop, boop. Boop, boop, so as you can see, what is a sexual predator? A sexual predator is a person who seeks out sexual contact with another person in a predatory or abusive manner. People who are sexual predators may or may not have committed sex crimes like sexual harassment, assault, rape, and pedophilia. But all sexual predators have sought out inappropriate contact in one way or another. So once again, I'm giving I'm giving a definition, and I'm going to follow it up by pointing out this element, which will come to light as we go through this stuff. Those who exploit others in a sexual manner may not just be just seeking sex. Rather, they see sex as a form of dominance and control. Now, that is interesting. I'm gonna throw that out there. Control is the big word. Be okay, I, I, I know I'm gonna try not to pause it too often, but he did. I, I've seen proof of this. Uh, I've, I've seen an inst instance of this that Mothra doesn't even know about. I have. I've seen it directly from Tragic. Exactly what he's talking about. Him using, him using his sexual prowess sexual prowess to control people i've seen it i've seen his sexual aggression firsthand i've read it with my own two eyes because through my time covering tragic if you've noticed he likes to have control of a narrative and possibly people it's why i'm not brian is the only person from the original bodega that's still around because he's easily controlled and it's a I drug addict real fast because i see the wonderful the wonderful ali dean Today is her birthday. Wish her a happy birthday. Say it, folks. I, I would sing it, but my voice is trash. And no wonder Allie was all channel. over me and trash. We don't need I, more singing on this channel. 
You know what I'm saying? But, like, we, yeah. I deserved every Let's fucking bit of dunking well, I got, man. Predators attempt to it makes sense. Victims. Many are children. Many are child sexual predators. However, so what's important about that is you can be both. You can exploit both. And I'll show later on how tragic sort of does stuff like this. But I'm not going to refer to women because there's enough evidence of him sexually harassing women. And to be honest, pretty much crossing lines. There is a lot of evidence of it. So keep all this in mind. So as I said originally, I'm not going to use tragics kid videos because one they're disturbing as shit two there's no reason to uh, platform that type of content three he lied about it last night saying it was being sent to their grandpa which is like why are you sending that to their grandpa that's pretty fucked up of you but tragic shows his ass a lot in those videos so let's continue so this is for uh, okay I, I i i want full transparency uh th I, i'm being i'm i'm going to be going through this with a fine tooth comb because you guys deserve the information but i need people to understand something He's out there trying to tell everybody I don't stand for something. This shit he's doing is against everything I stand for. And it was going on right underneath my nose, and it's embarrassing. I feel like a really shitty ally towards people who have been abused and are being abused currently. It's a fucking shitty feeling, especially when it's happened twice since December. <laughs> From his channel, Internet Frauds Part 1 by Big Trash. Notice Sorry. who he's talking about. PewDiePie. Keep that in mind. PewDiePie. PewDiePie is a character on YouTube that I, for one, am not a fan of. I'm yeah, not a fan of his content, and then he's done things that have uh, seriously crossed lines. When yes. he paid people overseas to hold up a sign with either the something about the Nazis or was it mm. the Jews, actually? Yeah. Something like that. Kill it, it was pretty much just yeah. the moment I realized, like, this dude ain't it. Like, yeah, I did, that I'm was not going to watch I it. Hate, I, hey, I understand people. I've been on PewDiePie's ass ever since he did that because that was fucked. Love him? <laughs> I, I don't. That's just my opinion at the end of the day. But. The important thing about this video is the is the description of it. Still has this channel it, though, don't he? Why would I play it? And I feel like they're 19 now, or at least they're they're getting to college age. But maybe they've matured. Maybe not. I don't I don't really care. Once again, it, he's the largest creator on the platform. He did it his way. I'll make content on the platform my way. And exactly. I don't see any beef with that. So let me read the I'll read the description of this for you. I am sick and tired of my kids listening to their nonsense, preying on kids 12 and younger. Notice the wording: preying on kids 12 and younger. There's no evidence out there of PewDiePie being a pedophile. Not a single shred of it. And I fucking checked. Best believe I fucking checked to see if PewDiePie was a pedophile. No. There's nothing there. One, he's sort of happy, I'd like to think. And two, just because he has an audience of predominantly underage kids does not mean he has a personal relationship with them. Right. But we'll keep on reading it's this. Not this lion is a clean, clean version. Or whatever the two hell more his name was. Adam, Minecraft the guy. Enjoy. This is real hip hop. Which, no, it, it's not even hip hop. Uh, it's... It's like modern pop hip hop, if I'm gonna classify it as anything, and that's not even really music, unless you think the the musings of Kid Leroy are are good. In which case, I, I am going to encourage anybody who feels that they might be uncomfortable and have had contact with this individual. If you have something that could be presented to a prosecutor to issue you a no contact order or a protective order, I got mine, and is it, there's seven rounds of it. But uh, if you need to go and do that, I would do that. I would. You know, do you think? Do you think? But once again, I have to highlight. Prey it has on to be pretty. Look, it has to be pretty. It has to meet the criteria, though, and it's different in every state. All right, I've seen the most liberal states throw out claims for a no contact or uh, yeah. Where have we noticed tragic? You gotta have something good. We've noticed it when he refers to basically uh, Frank. Mm. Yeah, we're gonna talk. He's gonna talk about that, right? Doesn't he talk about the the clip being overlaid with Shabisky? Well, we watched that yesterday. That was in that was in uh, DC's video. I'm sorry. I'm gonna back this up. I'm not trying to cut Mothra off and not give full context. But once again, I have to highlight preying on kids 12 and younger. Where have we noticed tragic saying stuff like this? We've noticed it when he refers to basically shit uh, comes Frank out of his mouth every day. Every day he's talking people. about pedos. Underhaven is an example. Shabisky. I'm pretty sure at some point he's missing Anna's one. He's he's said that about a lot of people. So that's revealing. So now we got to circle back to Will Kincaid, too. That's very revealing. Of right? Who he is. Because if you've noticed, whenever Tragic talks about him getting yeeted from a community, he, he brings up the pedophiles after the fact, not in the moment. <laughs> because, shocker, in the moment, even if there were pedophiles, they were giving him attention, so he didn't care. Which, A, makes him look worse. Because, yeah, that's, that's really uh, jacked up, yo. Really jacked up. But, once again, he's not right. Another one. Intimate pussycats going at it. Now, 
I don't really care about the, the cats going at it. Cats go at it all the time. But I will right. say, the over-sexualization is always disturbing. Intimate. Intimate. That's a very loaded word. It's a very loaded word. It's a word that I don't say on the regular for a reason. I'm So, intimate pussy cats going at it. What are you doing, Matt? So you got a video up of you and your kids asking where their wiener is, and now you've got a couple cats fucking each other on the internet. Like, what are you... Who are you uploading this stuff for? I'm intimate with my wife, but I don't say that, like, out in public that much when I'm talking about other things. And yes, yes, Beth, there's so many tabs. But, Ped again, Durst. notice the wording. And on top of that, look at, we're going to watch a video that he's, uh, he, he no longer has control of anymore. That's safe to upload. Ah, uh, yes. Yes, he does. This is a video of him and an Elmo doll. Yeah, look at this. I thought was lost forever. Somebody had saved a copy. I have that copy. Are you disturbed yet? Yeah. Or do I need to keep going? I saw it yesterday I'm and I was. I'm going keep going because... Yikes. Yikes. Also, if you uh, didn't catch it, I'll go back a couple minutes. Or a couple seconds. You'll hear us get in the background. This is fucked up. I don't even care if it was a joke. This is fucked up. It's a cat. Leave it alone. You know, I play with my cats all the fucking time. All the fucking... Hey, hussy! Are you watching? Or are you, are, are you not because you know you can't lurk? You can lurk here. Where you at? I'm looking at the chat. Where you at? Hussy? This your boy. You're not going to be receptive? You're going to you're gonna, you're gonna be Nags 2021? In time. I love my cats. I would never do shit like this to them. Never in a million years. Because at the end of the day, they're their own beings too. And they have boundaries and respect that they should be. Oh, by the way, the, the Instagram's wrong. I just realized that. So it's it's actually Daddy. It's actually uh, Neg's Live. I'm sorry. I totally forgot I changed it. That's my fault. Allowed just as much as I personally. <laughs> Tragic is well aware of this video. And like last night, we should be asking timing. about the wiener video. Tragic sort of deflected on it. And yeah, buddy. On this. Yeah, he'll flip up on this gross. too. I wonder how he's going to explain the, this during his live at noon. Were the, the alleged pedophil pedophiles, were the alleged, is it, would it be zoophiles? Or in the yeah. bestiality? We're, we're zoophiles, all yes. Even though he's got shit like this. One more time, one more time, to really hammer in the point home. While the baby is in the background, which he should have been taking care of. Instead, he's making this fucking video, and then uploading it to the fucking internet. Oh. Oh, yeah, oh, my life. Oh, yeah. 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 Gross. Just, I, I have to switch off this now. I have to switch off this. But I want to move to another point. And going back to control, this is tragic talking about his kids. Once again, this was in response to the Wiener video on wiener Twitter. Video. Wiener with video. Bessie's pinky toe, and I believe... The infamous Todd, Wiener video. You see this, Jason Todd later. I love the username always because Jason Todd is my favorite Robin. He's the Red Hood. He's a badass. They are my kids. Big difference. Which they all found funny when I was cool with them. This has gone on with random minors for years. Ellipses. You could have just put an exclamation point. Why are you deflecting? Again, notice the element of control. They are my kids. They are your kids. But also, they are themselves their own people. Even at a very young age, they're still their own people. It's really disturbing when you notice behavior like this. It's, you see that element of control. That I told you it was cringy, dude. Article. You notice I just thought you were a retard who did something stupid. It gets, it really, continues. that was my, that was the gist of it for me. A bad parent for when my kids are straight A students. I help them with all their homework. They are provided mm -hmm. for and are happy. Sure. When my son is reviewed on stream and called a head case when he was borderline ADHD slash autism, it's done after that. Sure. Notice the element of control again. I get he's a parent when he's concerned about his kids. But once again, my kids. If you're that worried about your kids, don't upload shit to the internet. Don't have a family channel with your name on it, which yeah. people were able to fucking find after doing some research. Don't be an idiot. Improve your cybersecurity. That's you fucked your channel, up. Anything else? But big. Instead, you kept is there, uh, That's not hey, boxing, by the way. Is, is, is there a chance that you can uh, shoot me a link to that on Discord so I can uh, present it for the audience? I mean, I'm nuking this stream. It's going on YouTube. Uh, I probably should have just done this on YouTube, honestly. But yeah, if you if somebody get that to me, I'm a platform it. I, I want to get all this out there. I I am fucking committed, and I owe it to everybody. I do. This this is this is until this is done, this is my job. Because this was a huge fuck up. By the way, that's the name of the actual fucking channel. But on top of that, let's keep going. 
nothing triggered me, triggers me. But when my kids are involved, I, I get triggered like any normal parent. Fair. Grown adults analyzing little kids' videos is pedo behavior. Bunch of chomos in discords are doing gross shit, y'all. We're always watching. You purged your discords too late. Number one, he was never in any of the servers. He was in a, he was in a fake server. He keeps trying to act like it's a real server, and it's adorable. He's never been in any of our servers. How do I know this? He can't name Black Eye TV server name, and he can't name Drag server name. Mm -hmm. He was never in any of the servers. Just saying. And Tav, you have a beautiful point in chat. This is projection. This is blatant projection. It's it's very obvious when he says stuff like this. He's trying to control a narrative. He's trying to craft a narrative because he's upset people are connecting possible dots. It's why he made five videos prior to this one and did an interview because he needs that element of control. Otherwise, he doesn't have control of the narrative and he needs that element of control. I cannot stress this enough. A good parent understands that while they are the parents of their kids, they are not property. Tragic seems to not think that. In fact, it's very obvious in the way he's parented his kids. For example, those disturbing videos that I keep mentioning on the Matt Merlinger channel. No one. Oh. No parent would allow that shit. No good fuck. No good fucking parent would allow that shit. Hussy. I, I and I got it. I'm sorry, I'm gonna be pausing this and making points of reference to Hussy because he has decided to die on this hill. Uh remember the things you said about my kid? Like I my kid will come up here and I'll mute my microphone. I mute my microphone. That's a point of contention for Hussey is that I mute my microphone. And Hussey believes that I look angry and my child's not well fed based on these interactions that we have here on the live stream. So what do you think about big trage interactions with his children, with cats, with puppets, with women, men? What do you think, Hussey? How much you charge her for those phone calls again? Like, I know you think you're going to ride this anti-negs thing into some profit. And, I and hey, if you do, get your bag. Because you're buying $40 drinks at the bar. Fucking parent. Difference is, the way tragic parents, his kids are his buddies. That's not how you fucking parent. That's not how you fucking parent. I am never going to be a dad. I'm going to throw that out there. Kids yeah. sort of annoy the shit out of me, to be honest. Respect sometimes. that. But if I were to ever have a kid, I would understand that. I would understand that I have a responsibility to look out for them and do the things that are right for them. Uploading videos asking where my wiener is, uploading a series where Mickey and Donald are slapping bitches and then sending it to their grandpa, which I don't believe for a fucking second, is not good parenting. No, it's Just not. Just throwing that out there. No, it's not. But my dad would fucking slap me. Let's even dig deeper. Let's go a little deeper back in time to the year of 2006. This is an article talking about MySpace and a group that was promoting stuff. I'll, uh, you can Thank read it you, here, Missy. but are you a starving artist? And a l starving artist? In a local band, yet have no clue how to get Sub your band noticed? Well, that's where the internet networking juggernaut MySpace comes in. So this is an article discussing MySpace. I'm going to scroll down to the more important part of the article. Local up-and-coming hip-hop artist Tragic has been a member since April 2005. Excuse me. Has over 2,100 friends. On his profile, you can hear his original songs such as I Saw the Light, which... What? That's so fucking cringe. And The Grime Life? You're not about The Grime Life. You're not about it, bitch. You are, you are white boy. Persona non grata. Also on the site, you can see concert photos, leave comments, and send Persona a message. Persona non grata. I love that. And can receive a response as well. That's. that's I wish I were Persona non grata next section so people wouldn't listen to me. Even though last as of late, year. MySpace has been generating some negative press due to the emergence of internet predators on the site and profiles that are laden with internet viruses, the site the site still reigns supreme in getting local artists known nationwide. That's interesting. Because huh? I remember this growing up, and I remember my dad telling me I wasn't allowed to have a MySpace because of people like possible internet predators yep is it surprising that somebody who had a music career is uh is on a site with clout where he has clout and has influence over anyone no matter the age as long as he sees them attractive is that surprising no it's not it's not and once again i'm gonna read it one more time even though as of late myspace has myspace has been generating some negative press through the emergence of internet predators on the site i'm not saying this is my conclusive assessment, but I'm saying there is a correlation and there's possible causation given what we know about Tragic already. There is a linkage. Now, someone feel free to correct me on that if they so if they see so, because I do see the argument that, well, he's just an artist. Yeah, but he loves talking about all the time he was this hit recording hip-hop artist. Hip-hop artists, like any other musician, get groupies. And sometimes those groupies aren't of age. How do I know this? David Bowie back in the day. David Bowie back in the day. What's up, JB? Keep that in mind. Well, let's keep on going. This next section is where we see Tragic's favorite thing to do, which is to project onto others 
pedophilia, sexual harassment, and on top of it all, being a child molester. Yeah, he's probably gonna do that to me this next. This is from my, underneath my Missy Ann video. Gonna that be I have, pussy into that. that I being a mouthpiece. It's still there as of the recording of this. If it leaves, that, it's probably that's his new nags as hussy. Last night when I said the Marcel Becker project comic got removed, it didn't get removed. It was taken down for impersonation. Marcel corrected me on that this morning. Thank you, Marcel, for doing that. Big shout out, Marcel Becker. What? Follow him on Twitter. He's very insightful. He's one of the few, one of the major like influences for my channel, to be honest. And he's been very helpful every step of the way. Every step of the way. I should correct that to the day. I actually don't know their gender. But so I got smoked. Should be a child rumor. The only people who say that are tragic. The second community. time I've watched this, it's hard to do the second time too. The only people who say that are tragic community. Tragic himself says both of those. Boy, this will get them good. Really, boy, this will really get him good. Hey, Zest, dude. The only problem is, is the. So for those uh, of you who don't know, this is tragic. The the, the you, Instagram, uh, you it's say, it's. Uh, I know it's tragic. Negs I'll live. <laughs> I forgot. Check the join date. It looks August great 16th, though. It's awesome. It's amazing. That was after he got yeeted from the Shabisky community. The stock account has been repurposed multiple times. Tragic love showing his ass for the world to see. The problem is he's not smart or clever enough to get away with it. Most of us are able to see it. Thank you. I am I am well aware of this hippie company. They love calling everyone a pedophile. Based on no evidence. Based on no evidence. And the evidence they do have, people have corrected them on. But they won't correct themselves because they're dishonest actors. They are dishonest actors that don't really care about pedophiles. There's my honest assessment of all of them. There's my very honest assessment. If someone shows you evidence of someone not being a pedophile, and you're still calling them a pedophile, that's on you, dipshit. That's on you. There's oh, another really? One. This one was about me. I reported his channel to the police because of how he's into children. And there's tragic saying they are perfectly aware of him, but the more the merrier, LOL. What? No, they're not. Will you stop August this 5th, stuff? 2020. Again, this is tragic. He does that all the time. Like he's a, uh, doing big pedophile, things. Which, don't ever let me hear you saying that. I've, I've warned you yesterday. I'll warn you, warn you again now. You don't want to hear me Thank you. saying that. Thank you, Zay Stewart. Watching. I don't fuck around with shit like that. You do. You do. But if you can find some evidence of that, pretty sure you've made it up. Just throwing that out there. Another one. Another one. Directly about kids. Notice, these are two sock account comments about kids. Not Tragic himself saying it, but his sock saying it. You, you know what? I'm, I'm sorry. Merms, you're right. That's what he did to me. He was very convincing. He was very convincing. And I'm going to tell you what. There was a member of, I mean, like, and I can't pin this on everybody, but somebody decided to fake a receipt from their OnlyFans. That soda big seed of doubt and everybody so it was very easy especially me it was easy to come to me and say that shit's doctored because i watched somebody do it in real time in real fucking time they doctored a receipt and tried to peg something on me that i didn't have nothing to do with or tried to embellish a situation so i was very i mean like what an opportunity he had with me where i didn't trust anybody didn't believe anybody i hated everybody and I was just swinging wildly into the abyss because I was trying to defend the honor of my family. Yes, worker, this is about Frank. I've gotten the ball rolling in Frank's state to probably take away Frank's child. Based on nothing. Based on absolutely fucking nothing. A video that's still on Frank's channel that he himself has admitted was in poor taste. And he would have he would have done he wouldn't have done it given the chance over. There was a minor way back in the VR room, but he was not part of Frank's group. And it certainly wasn't part of the guys fucking around together. Right. How do I know this is tragic? August 24th, 2020. Three separate occasions. Three separate occasions I busted his ass today. And I, I love busting his socks. They're the funniest fucking things. It's, it's genuinely a hobby of mine now. Where I love seeing him write a comment under one of those sock accounts from August 2020 saying he has pretty eyes. He's, he's so secure in, in his masculinity and his identity. He just has to suck himself off all the time. <laughs> I imagine he was a kid though. growing up and tried to suck his own dick a few times. I'm going to be honest. And I'm, I'm, you know what? I've seen his dick and there's no way he reached it. Unless his torso, unless he's got like some kind of scoliosis and he can fold himself in half <laughs> and he don't have any front teeth, then he might be able to service himself. But this guy, when you hear the term low, or I'm, I'm sorry, when you hear the term small dick energy, this dude appears in the dictionary. Sorry, I'm getting a little heated right not, now. Not tragic, not Mothra, tragic. But as you can see, I'm not taking this this video lightly. I actually Sorry, put a lot of time into this to formulate everything I need to know. Gotta put some humor in and this shit. Got the, worst stuff. the worst part about all these lies? Somebody. People believe this. Carlita is somebody's sock account I'm 50% sure on. If not, I apologize to Carlita in advance. Uh, this uh, this statement about D. Huggins is, or he's, he's referring to D. Huggins is absolutely 100% false and a lie and propaganda but by a predator. He's a predator. And then there's tragic saying D funds predators. 
D doesn't do that. If I were to come out as a predator tomorrow, D wouldn't be around anymore. She she would have messed up by supporting my channel, but at the same time, she's going to learn to do better. This is tragic lying again and making baseless accusations. He's wonderful at this. He's so fucking wonderful at this. But the problem is, he's not smart enough to realize only his gaggle of fucking idiots believe him. And I'm calling Death a fucking idiot too, because this is Death defending the Millie Bobby Brown thing. Even if she had lied about her age, he thought was he thought she was the age at the time, so he's a fucking nonce. End of. Throwing that out there. Throwing that out there. Millie Bobby Brown is still a minor. In the photo, she was a minor. Death is Death is uh, condoning this. That's very fucking fun. Death, you're full of shit and you're a cunt. I'm just gonna throw that out there. Death wow. is a certified fucking cunt. Wow. Top part is also funny. It's always the most pious types that are doing the most wrong. It's pure deflection. That is projection. Hey, um, you are supporting. Hey, hey, Missy, can you, or one of my mods, can you poke around and see how we can get this suspicious user monitored ban evader off of the Marcel project? I understand you probably have another. Or, or can you tell me the other account that you may have came in that may have been banned? So, because it, it keeps, it like takes up such a huge portion of the chat. It's like, hey, we're monitoring this guy. And I'm like, yeah, I know. Can you fucking quit? Supporting Tragic's channel. And you've bought into the bullshit that tragic is hot shit. You're fucking stupid. You are. D, D Higgins was 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 more than receptive to uh, me apologizing to them and making things correct. That has been the. I mean, like, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, like, that has been one of the things that's really been emotional for me is how understanding and patience everybody patient everybody has been with me. And I'm not gonna lie because the, because of what just happened. There's a part of me that's like, man. What if everybody's like, okay, thanks for telling the truth. Go fuck yourself. You know, and then I'm like, but like, that doesn't matter. That shouldn't even matter. You know what I'm saying? But like, that's where I'm at because of him and the last four years of this shit I've dealt with. It's, it's just gotten worse. It's not always been predators. It's just been people coming into my community, being an energy vampire to me, sucking me dry, costing me thousands of dollars and leaving. Jana and Straubs have seen it time and time and time again. People come in here and cost me. I would probably have... Uh, Eighty thousand dollars in the bank by now since 2017. If I had not run into these people, you know what I'm saying. But it all started, and this is no bullshit. And people can say what they want, shield myself or whatever. But I'm telling you, I didn't get any kind of attention on the internet until 2017, and then I lost my son, and my life spiraled out of control. And people, it seemed like people were more than happy to use it for content and as a point of contention to get me going. And that's been my journey for four years, and it's culminated into this predator coming in and terrorizing people that I genuinely care for. It's so much, man. Fucking it's so stupid, much. I should not reiterate that enough. So much. This is great. This is great. I'm in real time showing you one. He said it was hot that you were a teen mom. How is that hot? My mom's a teen. My mom was a teen mom. She was 19, but how's that hot? That's not hot. It's unfortunate sometimes. You're not prepared at a te as a teenager to have a baby. I'm not judging you, by the way. My cousin had a kid at 15, and she did just fine. And she was also a grandmother at <laughs> before she was 35. Mm -hmm. Not only is tragic <laughs> lying, two he's projecting, and three on top of it, in my opinion, he's hiding something. And I'll get to that at the very end. Need he to is hiding something. Again, this is my opinion. This is my opinion on the matter. But, but there's death, by the way. That's death. Feel free to come to your own conclusions as well. The de death is the one who came into my community and tried to dogpile a beloved member of our community over absolute fallacies of lies, just horseshit they made up. And then they got called out for it. This is how we're, this is why we're here is because she can't control herself. I'm going to take a quick sip of coffee because I'm a little lightheaded now. As a quick breather. Get yourself cold I'm here. sorry. I'm sorry, DC. Can you tell me what was in your stream? I just went on a little bit of a tangent when I do that. I... It's like I, if somebody says something in the chat, I go, what the fuck did I say? Uh, he accused D. Higgins of f to funding us, even though that's a false narrative. It is it's a false narrative. Oh, babe, I'm sorry. That's fucked up. Yeah, I mean, I do believe everything happens for a reason, and it's kind of fucked how things end up happening. But, um, was it in your chat when he said that, or was he, uh, 
that was in your oh the stream we watched yesterday that dc this is so much i must my brain must not be consuming all of it this i mean it's it's been a lot i mean that's all i've done for three days is consume this this toxicity you know what i'm saying <laughs> like it's a lot it's so much room maker it's it's literally one of my favorite fucking things that's a very good comparison that is a very good comparison she's not going to support per se but she's also not going to stop in any way. She's just going to sit in the background and, and chill. Let's move on to the next section. I've often said that tragic is bi. Here's the proof. Are you gay? Question mark. That would explain why you don't want to fuck me. I'm bi. There is nothing wrong, wrong with being gay. Which is funny in its own right. But on top of it. <laughs> it on is. On top of it. I had that. This was a private conversation. <laughs> and tragic took the bait. I was originally going to show sexual harassment of women. Tragic has an, a sec, an instance of sexual harassment against a gay man. Buns of steel, can you guess my waistline? As you can see, I had to block the booty pic. I do appreciate uh, the, the confidence of the individual to show their ass to the internet. 10 out of 10. It, it takes a lot of confidence, I'm not going to lie. But uh, look at the comment. Look at that. Fire. Good for you, Shoddy. There's a dude. Tragic's always soliciting. He's always soliciting sex, if he can get it. There's multiple instances of this occurring with Tragic. Of him soliciting sex multiple incidences he's always trying to fuck which to bring it back to sexual oh, predators and what i've seen in my research they are always sexually aggressive they are in a state of sexual aggression and if they cannot get sex like in the times tragic has been turned down they immediately flip the switch and get angry because that's okay okay we gotta talk about this for a second this community um we are adults and some of us may have pr a private adult conversations and even in our group chats we may we, we sex comes up but there's a limit you know what i'm saying is a limit it doesn't get creepy it, it you know people makes everybody makes gross jokes with their friends and that's about the extent of it but these aren't hour-long conversations we're not talking about banging one another i talk about my sexual past because it's fucking hilarious that type of thing and then this guy's out here trying to fuck everybody he almost came to a property that I rented with a bunch of females that I promised that I would keep safe. And there's going to be a, a couple males there, too. My, my children and hey. somebody else. That's pretty good. Thank you for subscribing. All hail JB, Straubs, Julesy, Brizel, uh, Bud Babe, Scotty, Drapple, and Holly. Get some love in the chat. Anyway, moving on. That's how they, have, that's how they cope with being rejected. Pure anger. Your anger, and everybody, huh? I appreciate you laughing at this because Ugh. I told Tragic I have these receipts. He sort of lost track of his receipts over the years. Today's reckoning day, buddy. Today is reckoning day. Let's move on to the final section. And I intentionally made told myself this was going to be a shortish video. Yeah, exactly. One, I've got shit I need to actually do today, unfortunately. So and when we had that conversation, I was cringing the entire time. I'm not entirely comfortable talking about some stuff with people, but I'm welcoming. I'm like, ah, you know. Two. Still feeling the effects of the TB test in my arm. I, I don't have the weird little bubble, but my fucking forearm hurts today, so I'm probably going to have to rest it up later. And three, it's I hate TB test. And I, me if you can't see behind me, I got my bike uh, re oiled up. No need to apologize. She is ready to fly. Thank so I'm going to have to go on her. Thank you. So, we've all seen this one of Tragic retweeting a, a photo. Oh, wow. I know Modern Medusa. She's, uh, she's a sex worker. Um,. But that's not how I know her. I don't even know how I know her. I don't know if it's from Live Me, but uh, I only knew her from Twitter. And then when I got nuked from Twitter, I haven't talked to her. You know, I thought her, her some of her posts were sexy, and I'd you know give him a heart. That's kind of what you do to compliment somebody on social media, right? But check this out. Check this out. Check this shit out. Photo of an innocent sixteen-year-old holding a bunny, and even though the person in who tweeted out is a sex worker, this photo is is pretty fucking disturbing in its own right. Or this photo. Not exactly something you would uh, retweet and uh, like, but tragic always has to show. His I remember this seeing this. Twitter account. With... I remember seeing this, and and, and I was, um, I don't know. I, I didn't look at it in this. I didn't think of it like this. Like it was, you know, a sex worker tweeting a. a I didn't think of it like that. I was just like, oh, you're sharing a picture of your younger self because I do that. But I mean, like, when it comes to, let me back up. When it comes to trag, though, you have to throw this under the microscope. Pretty fucking disturbing in its own right. Or this photo, not exactly something you would uh, retweet and uh, like, but Tragic always has to show his ass. And this is on his old Twitter account, where he's more, shall we say, honest. Where he's more honest. 
What if I told you I had evidence of him saying such shit to a minor in a Discord server? Would you believe me if I said I have evidence of that? Because I do. I do. Do you all remember Daniel Minecraft, man? Yep. Oop, I'm gonna have to go this one first. I want you all to read this out yourselves. Okay. So, uh... uh oh, hey, what? Last two. Okay, so... Cool. Hi, Daddy. It's me, Daddy. It's me, Daniel Minecraft, man, you Nazi. Sex? You want sex? Want to have gay sex? This is an adult interacting with a minor. Notice the last two. They will not... They will not, uh... Allegedly. They will not comment about this, and Tragic will say that this is edited and altered. It's not... This wasn't in Tragic's server. This was in a separate server where he did this shit. If it was a joke, it was a shitty joke, and it's really fucked up. Well, you know, she's got issues as well. So there's like a like a real pattern here with this guy. He's just like preying on people who are damaged, and it's sad. Yeah. So I'll read it real fast. Daniel Minecraft man says, "Cool" with a lot of L's. Trasic says, "Hi, Daddy. It's me, Daddy. This is a minor. Need to keep reiterating. It's me, Daniel Minecraft man. Your news, sex. Yeah, he said these were you fake. You want sex? Question mark. Want to have gay sex? Again, you don't, you don't ask that to a kid. You don't ask them. You want sex. You don't do that shit. That crosses lines. What What was this about Frank again? Tragic. What was this about him? Messy. Oh, that's right. That's this. That's not what happened. Is you sent your kid out on another op, and then you're over here doing this. That crosses fucking lines. And what happened with this is, Daniel Minecraft man uh, was eventually yeeted off Discord, I believe. This account, at least. I don't know if he's roaming around somewhere. And Tragic was kicked out of the server. So Tragic no longer has access to delete these comments. There now, we go. He likes to say it's altered. Problem is, people were still in that server, took screenshots, and then they passed them along to me. Deleted user was your news. That is Big Tragic's photo, so he can't... He uses over Discord and his main profile picture in a lot of instances. How do I get this shit? He can't really hide behind this. Hang on a second. I got something. Hang on. I'm, I just I just boomered, so I'm trying to figure out how to get this damn thing off my off my screen. I can't figure. Help! Get out of here. Why? Why is it doing this to me? Hang on a second. Give me just a second. Sorry. Fucking suck. I suck at being a human some days. All right. Hang on. <laughs> Fuck it out. Hey, here's my big fat head. All right, continue. And once again, as you can see, it's his username, Big Traj. It's still on in this fucking server. I don't know the name of the server because I'm not really going to search it out, to be honest. But, but, that's disturbing. And if you guys hadn't already uh, guessed my opinion, in my opinion, Tragic in his past allegedly probably had sex with a minor. In my, in my opinion, Tragic in his past allegedly had sex with a minor. Probably during his musician years. And we have a lot of evidence for the possibility of this, given the MySpace stuff, given what we know about his sexual proclivities, given what we know about the fact that he likes having this control over people. A groupie is a perfect example of that. You know how Tragic would like to describe how he beat up a pedophile? There's an element of truth where I believe that was him that got beat, the shit beat out of him. I don't know if that's true or not, but at the same time, that is my opinion on the matter. I don't think he's someone you should be uh, around. I think he's very dangerous. I think that... He, uh, he's not really a good person for kids. He's not someone good for adults. And the people who are enabling him are sick, fu sick fucking people. And given what we all know, I want y'all to come to your own conclusions. And I want y'all to do your own research on this because I encourage critical thought and research. As you've noticed, I have not shouted out the cash app today. That was intentional. I didn't want to collect money off this stream. I didn't want to collect so. a single fucking penny off this stream. But at the same time, this behavior is disturbing. This behavior is very fucking disturbing. And it's blatant. It's blatant. And one more thing that I totally forgot to show, and I'll have to quickly pull it up, and hopefully it pops up quick. Do, do, do. But it was about something tragic does that someone on the farms noticed. And let's see if I have it in my little section where I do research GG farms. before my streams, <laughs> where I like, compile all my links. Notice this. This is from the farms. This is them talking about tragic accusations against Flaming Amy. You notice how, on the farms, they are very aware Tragic's fucked up. They are very fucking aware of it. And they are aware he can't keep a narrative straight. But, notice right there. Tragic mentions the casual dismissal of Callie from Ganval's legit material he possesses. I don't know who Ganval is. That might be a user. 
If I'm mispronouncing your name, I apologize. He possesses proof Aaron Carter groomed teens. So, there's another element that I need to get to. There is a also a very big possibility he's just doing all of this fucking attention thing. To be honest, clout. Because if he grew up during the mid-2000s, there was that shitty TV show called To Catch a Predator. And if he were on YouTube for a hot minute through 2014 to like 2017, there were predator hunters everywhere. He well, um, <clears throat> did I get creep vibes? Now that I think back, yes. Um, and I know that sounds profound to have a... a, 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 a to re, to ha Anyway, let me explain. I honestly just thought this dude was fucking a, just another corny white dude trying to be Fred Durst. You know, the chose good. I was just like, yeah, whatever. You know, I, I thought he was damaged. I thought he was, he is damaged. But I thought I was helping a damaged individual who, who, who I genuinely thought that people were fucking with this family. I genuinely thought people were fucking with his kids. I didn't buy into any of his stories because of convenience. I bought into him because I was convinced. So thinking back i'm like the whole thing creeps me out now you know what i'm saying like i like i said i almost had this guy around the people i love and care for and that's scary as fuck considering what he's done to missy just make and this is just online i almost brought this dude almost paid for him <laughs> Whew. the issue is that's not how you uh, catch a predator you share their information to the light and cool thank you sky ganvel is a user on youtube thank you Need to reiterate again. In my opinion, allegedly, Tragic is hiding something in his background. And probably there's something on his hard drives that uh, if the police were to raid, they would probably uh, probably get that tomorrow. And they'd search it for stuff. And they'd probably find stuff, given what I know about Tragic and the way he operates. Mothra, final message on this. Because after this video, I am going to take a little bit of a breather away from Tragic. Because one, it's disgusting, this type of behavior, especially against minors. Two, to constantly accuse others of pedophilia and then also be out in public saying shit like this where people yes. read it fucked up even if it was a so and so and so called op because they just love throwing that word around it's not a not really a good look for you man when you're saying you want to have sex with a kid it's fucked up that's fucked up when you're calling a kid daddy no fuck out of here fuck out of here Three. Okay, so before he gets in anybody's ear and says these are fake screenshots, okay, so was every bit of this fake? Everything? This is just one big conspiracy, correct? This is one big conspiracy, correct? See, I know there were two people on the internet who were trying to affect me and my family directly financially. I knew that for a fact because I watched it happen. But he's trying to convince everybody that there's just this mob of people... I I see here, I listened to Mothra last night, and I was like, this dude is intelligent. And for the uh, the depravity of this situation, he has really maintained his cool. Because this shit, like, I'm telling you, I didn't fucking sleep well last night. Okay, that's no bullshit. I didn't sleep well at all. Last time I slept good was Saturday night because I drank a bottle of whiskey because my head is fucked up from this stuff. Hey, love your pets. Love your pets. Cherish your fucking pets. They are beautiful creatures. Mm -hmm. They don't deserve to be mistreated in life. No, not like that. They don't. De they don't deserve being mistreated at all, and they definitely don't deserve to have sexual things perpetrated upon them for the entertainment of other fucking idiots online. You think I would ever do that to, to my my peeboos? That's my baby. That's my kid. That, that dog is like my child. Yet yeah, my kid poops on the floor sometimes, and I step in it and get a little angry, but I don't ever mistreat her. I may raise my voice when I fall, I'll fall over her and nearly break my neck on the stairs or something, but I don't mistreat her. <laughs> Jesus. Deserve to have an Elmo doll near their asshole for major facts. But above all else, whenever you have to interact with a tragic sim or someone in the tragic universe, link them to this video. Because they will never address anything said this. They will never say anything about this video. They will avoid it like the plague. Because to be honest, these people do not have integrity. They do not have the moral character to fucking hold my nutsack. And on top of all, they are equally guilty of enabling this shit as much as tragic is for doing this shit. And that's all I'm going to say. This has been Mothra J. I hope you have a great rest of your day. I hate to say this after a big rant, but happy birthday again, Allie. I will be on her. Okay. Um... So, I, I this is the second time I've watched that, and it's still... I, I get this, this hollow feeling in my stomach consuming that because <sighs> anyway
I'm just glad nobody got hurt. At this point, that's all I've, uh, what, what, what else can I, you know, what else can I say? But I'm just glad nobody got hurt. And this, and, and I feel like that, I, but I also am a realist and I know that this, this, this shit isn't going to come to an, an, an immediate abrupt end either. And I, I believe that he's probably just going to continue his, his path of bullshit. But I, like I said, there's not going to be a tete a tete. You want to post fucked up shit. You want to do fucked up shit. You know how I've rolled from the beginning. And, 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 and I told, I told a judge this, uh, I will never apologize for defending my family. I have the castle doctrine. I have the second amendment and I will use it to, uh, defend my family within my rights and my state's about to become a constitutional carry state. So, um, that means I can just, I gun in my sock and pocket pants, whatever, you know? So I'm, I'm not worried about, about my family or anything like that. I think this is more of psychological terrorism because this individual is absolutely a predator. And predators, they need to uh, control you mentally. And this is not this is not the first sexual predator I've encountered. I've been abused. I would say that the first time I was I was I was abused, it was not so much sexually as it was just an adult touching me. Um, there was this guy. Oh, guess what? He, guess what he used to say? I studied psychology. That's what he used to tell all of us boys, us young boys that came over to smoke pot and be around his promiscuous daughter, which he used as bait. Yeah. So the depravity that these people go, the, the lengths they go to is unbelievable. Um, uh, yeah, I mean, this is... Uh, I, I get why Frank was saying leave Missy alone now. I mean, I, I can't. I just I can't. No excuses. I'm look, man. This is I'm committed. This is my job now, to make sure that people get the message about this guy. Again, going forward, I don't care what the fuck he had to say from when he from the from that moment he said on that live stream. I played you for a year. It doesn't matter what he says after that. We're I'm focusing on prior to that. That's it. Yeah, so anyway, back to this abuser. I, and, I, and I know that, that, that I, I, this is how I've coped my entire life, is telling these fucking stories. Um, I was sitting on a love seat next to him. We used to talk on the CB. I'm a 14-year-old male at this time. I'm 14 years old. I weigh about 105 pounds, 5'5". Five five. I was small. I was, I was pretty small, yeah. Um, and, and, and I don't know, like, my, 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 I just did what I wanted I rode my bike everywhere. I had friends. My parent, it was a different time. Um, but um, yeah, I remember him putting his hand on the inside of my thigh saying, you know, I could touch you here if I wanted to. And I threw his hand up and I was like, well, you just did, you know? And then like, I never sat next to him again. I just thought, I was like, well, that was weird. But I want you to understand how profound that what that is that at my age, I didn't see it. I, I went back. I went back. It never went farther than that, but a friend of mine had, uh, we had spent the night. I don't know even how that even occurred. This is how good these guys are, these predators, how convincing they are. Again, he used his daughter as bait. She's a teenager. Oh, it's just kids the same age hanging out together, right? 14 years old. Pfft, what's going to happen? I went to a Cincinnati Reds game. My, uh, my stepdad came to pick me up. We got in the car and left, and my friend stayed there because he was, he was skipping school. He didn't care. And he was just laying there kind of half asleep. And this guy came in and full on grabbed his ass, like cupped it. <laughs> 14 years old. He jumped up and he said he broke the door. He broke the screen door getting out and ran home. And we never went back after that. He told me that we, we never went back after that. That was the end of it. And you know what we found out later on? It was a convicted child molester. We didn't have Google, internet. Couldn't just go around and get records on people very easily. Rumor, word of mouth, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, that, that was that, that was a thing. So.
This shit's scary. Because if I ever caught anybody trying to prey on my child... I just, you know, leave it at that. You felt insulted by being rejected. You just been rejected by hundreds of men and women now. Hundreds. How dare you prey on people who are, who are survivors, dude? That's fucked up, man. You're literally the, the, the type of person who damaged us who have dealt with people like you. And you're damaging people now. But as children, you're the type of person who damaged us and made us into these adults that you still prey on. This is insane. I'm sorry to hear that, Rowan. There, there is nothing like being physically attacked. There's nothing like it. Being on the losing end of a physical attack, even if it's physical, sexual, whatever, man. Well, bud, babe, you've, you've got hundreds more in your corner. And I, I just wish I had listened sooner. I promise I'm not a predator. I'm not a piece of shit. I'm not a schemer. Have I have I said, yeah, take a channel down? Sure. I played the YouTube game and I lost. Now I got legal stuff going on. I obviously lost the game, okay? I lost the battle on YouTube under false pretenses, obviously. I mean, no, I was right to be yeeted. I'm saying uh, what I was doing was less than honest, obviously, because I was being fed lies. <laughs> Uh, and then, you know, I, I took it a little too far in the uh, game of life, I guess. I've not committed any crime, though. I've not done anything illegal. I've been mouthy, but I've not done anything illegal, ever. I mean, that might be subjective, but we're, we're being technical. And that's why, I, I mean, like... I'm just, I don't know, man. I got, I want to stay focused on this guy. I'm not, he's not going to become a, a subject of mine. I just want to present what we've got. And I, and I want to present this opportunity. Like I, I, I am almost certain that nobody else wants to come out publicly and be like, he did X, Y, Z. But with the sheer number of people I've heard that he has been preying on, oh man, I, it just, people need to know. People need to know. I mean, like he can't, go after hundreds of people every day he will drive himself insane he can't manage and monitor and gaslight thousands of people every day and believing that there's this big conspiracy against him after all that shit we just watched yeah guys give bud babe some love man please Well, they're preying on other people now. And then like, hey, DC tried to save Hussey's community. That didn't work. Um, I'm not I'm not in the I'm not in the business of saving communities anymore. People can either watch this information and accept it for what it is and make their own uh, make their own mind up. That's all they can do. I'm not I'm not out. like, look, dude, I think Hussey's a lost cause because he just basically was like, yeah, I know Negs is saying X, Y, Z, but eh, I'm just going to ignore that and just go with, say whatever I want to say. And then and then and then you're going to be like, ignoring is the best revenge. Revenge for what? Revenge for what? Nobody did anything to you. Did you see that, Ken? Did you just see the presentation I've been making for like six hours over the last two days? And it doesn't end, it doesn't end here. We carry this into our Discord. This is we we are talking this out now because it's fucked. DC also tried to save me, she did. And she didn't have to. She used to watch me and she was a viewer. And, and she cared. And fucking, I could, I could hear people's eyes rolling collectively. Um, Y'all vanished on me as soon as I didn't have a fucking voice on YouTube. This has been going on for a year. And she actually said, you know what? 
we could probably work this out. And it, and it was slow, and now here we are. It was like, she, I remember she warned me. Tragic's going to turn on you too. And I was like, and then in short order, death fucked up. And then I, then I observed Tragic, and then I watched him bend the knee and expose himself. And I went, holy fuck. Does that make me woke? <laughs> hey. Ah, uh, thank good. you, Luna. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you, Luna. I appreciate that. Hey, can we get some love for uh, Luna in the chat, please? For giving the Marcel Project a sub. Uh, Bud, babe, it's... We're hurt that we were so deceived. You, you, it, it don't you don't um, don't bear any kind of uh, you you sh you have no burden to bear. This is this is my burden to bear. You have nothing to be uh, sorry for whatsoever. Yeah, no, my eyebrow, dude. My like, I gotta quit. I've been doing this for like two days. Holy shit. <laughs> Well, I mean, one thing one thing that's going to come from this is um, my activism with actual victims groups and actually uh, trying to do something good is going to it's, it's just going to go up now. I'm going to be donating some money and seeing what I could do. There's uh, some well, big trash. He got me uh, he got me pegged on TikTok almost out the gate because I made fun of him for uh, yeah, boy, it did it all for the dookie. Yeah, right. Won't you have a seat? Yeah, Bud Babe did nothing. I'm the aggressor. I was blindly led. I, I I was led into a battle that I didn't bother to. I mean, I'm a I'm a like everybody has to. Hey, I've had multiple people privately call me a retard. I ain't mad. The fuck am I gonna be mad about? No, you're right. You're right. No, I am. One hundred percent. One hundred one percent. Get it? Cause I'm, I'm retarding. You know, I don't get it that it just stops at one hundred percent. It goes one hundred one. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, if anybody has, I mean, I mean, like that video about rain. Um. um yeah, Marcel is one. I wasn't gonna out you like that. I wasn't gonna out you like that. There's been a few other people too. <laughs> I mean, I have to laugh because if I don't, I'm gonna cry. You got bad vibes from the jump. Yeah, I mean, I feel I feel like an idiot, but I feel like uh, this was the one. I don't know very many people online that would be given even a second chance to make shit like that right and still maintain their community and their platform so that's a fucking that's that speaks volumes right there so i mean feel stupid yes learn and push forward and adapt as you do as a human being man believe me i've, I've felt my yeah it's been it's been a physical it's been a very what, do you, what would you call it a uh, visceral Marcel is not afraid to admit when he's done something. That's what I appreciate about him. Hey, it's White Boy Rumble Rants. Uh, I nuked my Rumble channels today. I think my content's still up under the Godfather. This fucking channel, I have to nuke. I'm trying. I'm gonna nuke my whole account on Rumble. Um, all of it's backed up. It's not me running from anything. It's just me removing, me hosting all of that fucked off content that I made. Like everybody's got it. They got their receipts. They got everything. I don't want to offer that shit a platform because it's 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 baseless. You know? So I'll get back around and upload some of my more funnier stuff and, and comedy and parodies and stuff. I, I'm not I'm not ashamed of those, but I am ashamed of a lot of that other stuff. And it's probably not fair for me to just say I'm just gonna nuke it, but 
I'm not going to build that anymore. I don't want nothing to do with that. I'm even trying to distance myself from the Negs moniker online. I mean, like, it's still always going to be there, but I mean, like, I don't know, man. I'm not trying to run from my past. I'm just trying to evolve. Yeah, the White Boy Rumble Rants has all of it. I know how the internet works. I know how the internet works. There we go. Stop restricting you, too. Guys wants to restrict everybody. Evolve like a Pokemon. A Pokemon. Pokemon. Because also, you know, hindsight being 2020, looking back, there were a lot of people who just didn't want to involve themselves in the drama and just genuinely liked me and talked to me about so many other things and art and movies and stuff. And I was like, man, you know, I, I, I've, I have a responsibility to bear with that too because, you know, we probably could have been immersed in so much more culture with one another, you know, and, but... My mom, my, you know, my, my mama said, alligator got all them teeth. It's so angry because they ain't got no teeth, bro. Um, my mama always says that everything happens for a reason. She's a very spiritual lady, honest lady. She takes one for the team, for the universe constantly. She, she maintains a balance with the universe. That's right, Pebbles. Um, but she always says everything happens for a reason. Sometimes it's hard to accept, but it, did, but it is for a reason. I am going to be, I am still going to stay true to who I am. It's just like, there's a whole year of stuff I need to reevaluate. Like there were emotions I had that were completely invalid. They're completely invalidated now. And I know some people may not like look at that as a profound occurrence, but I do. To me, it's very profound when my everyday is a delicate balance with my emotions. So... Yeah, I appreciate you, Marcel. You've been very patient and, and, and honest and transparent. More than I could say for what I've had experience over the last year. Well, I'm hoping now, like this is, I mean, I'm, I'm gonna just like, you know, on the flip side of this, I'm, I'm really hoping I can get back into my creativity now. Playing guitar. Uh, which I don't only I only do it like every couple months. I'm gonna do that more often. You know, art, drawing, cooking. It's been a bumpy two weeks. Got sick, went to the dentist, had some issues with that. Then my community caught on fire. <laughs> and it's been yeah. I'm, you know, Darth, I'm too old to not own up when I have just, yeah, I, I'm too old for this shit. I mean, I don't want to like, I'm, I mean, like, I'm, I'm, I'm super sad this happened, but I'm glad that like we're here now because I couldn't die with that on my, on my soul. That was dark shit, man. You know, I was I was perpe helping perpetuate some really sinister shit, and I didn't know it, and and, and it and it really feels gross. So I I, I I'm, I'm not a religious, not a religious man, but I, I'm spiritual. I mean, I believe we're all connected. I mean, obviously we are. Look where we're at. If we all weren't connected, we, we wouldn't even be here. Yay. I don't have to deal with the school again today. Fucking shit. Some kid threatened to punch my kid because he was drinking out of the water fountain and they're not supposed to, but I gave my kid permission to drink out of it because it's a public building and you can't make health choices for him. They took that serious. <laughs> they didn't take my concern about the water fountain serious, but they took the threat of violence serious. Because they know, I told them, I said, if you punish him, just give him a Chromebook and send him home. I'll, I'll homeschool him.
And look, um, I'm not trying to, uh, let's see here. I will always forgive people when they genuinely apologize, no matter their age. Yeah, I mean, like, I don't have a motive, man. I mean, my only motive was I was just swinging, I was defending my family, purely. Purely, and I just went too far. I did. You know, just like years of people fucking with Mason's memory and fucking with this. I mean, guys, these kids. <laughs> hey, this little boy here is fucking, he's got. I'm proud of him because he's experienced like adult things. That, and, and I'm talking like in terms of like people's substance abuse problems. Not through me. I've, I've shielded him from as many horrors of this world as I can for 11 years. Sure, he's seen me tipsy, drunk, whatever, but there's always somebody here, right? Um, but the things he's had to experience, like, you know, I, when, when I tell you I'm all he's got, that's not me, like, sucking my, or, you know, patting myself on the back. I don't know why I'd say this. <laughs> See, uh, Mothra got in my head earlier with tragic and doing it. But anyway, that's not me patting myself on the back for being a good parent. That's me stating a fact. And he knows that too. And that's tough for a kid. You fuck my brain today, dude. I'm gonna have to go purge my mind of all of uh, the toxicity now. Holy fuck. Mental picture. Yeah. Oh, for the record, I've never tried that. I've never tried that. I've never had the desire to even see if I could do it. I, I got a bad back anyway, so. I've never had a problem getting a girlfriend. And I've never had to be sexually aggressive. I have never been sexually aggressive with a female. I, I learned, like I said, I mean, like the women that I was raised by, we didn't have that talk, though. I want you to understand that. They didn't sit. I never got the talk. Sex was not a subject. I figured it out on my own. But I knew from the jump to respect somebody. It's just, a, it's just a thing. If somebody tells you no, hey, you want a drink? No, you don't force them down and throw it down their neck, man. You stop. You don't give them the drink. So, yeah. It's called respect. Going in people's DMs. Like, I saw the things that this dude said to some of the females in my community. It's disgusting. He was... Ooh, so aggressive. Is he having is he having McHenry Cruiser on in three minutes? Skanky English gal. Fucking great name. Skanky English gal. I wonder who that is. <laughs> it's not hard to figure out. <sighs> oh, I had a, a, a ton. Yeah, guys, uh, anything you've heard from Tragic, just bring it up now. I do not. I do have a ton of nudes from, su from subscribers. Uh, let me explain to you about these nudes, actually. I didn't ask for them. Um, and I never threatened to put them out. No, that is untrue. But I do have, uh, and, and um, let me tell you about these hundreds of nudes. That's probably one person. They don't send me any nudes anymore. But yeah, I do. But I don't have them saved. They're on my Instagram. They're in the messages. If I wanted to, I could go back through there. But I don't save that shit. I just don't. I mean, I'm, do I have a couple pictures? Yeah, but I don't have hundreds of nudes and threaten to drop them. No. Yeah, I mean, Tragic had no problem spreading Crazy Renee's sh uh, screenshot from the movie, which is not a big deal. Uh, Draven owes me a huge fucking apology, though, by the way. Um, and, um, and Missy's? Yeah, so there's that. Oh, are there a bunch of videos about me? I, I'm not, I'm not keeping up with it. I'm only watching things about uh, tragic transgressions and all the receipts I need to, uh, to keep everybody safe. That's the only thing we're addressing. I'm not even going to be like this point forward. Like he told me the day after I called him out, 
that he lied to me for a whole year. So, I mean, right then and there, he's shown that he's predatorial and everything he says is fucked. Damn, really, Darth Smalls? Yeah, you need to watch the stream. Uh, you need to go to my uh, YouTube channel. I have a YouTube channel. By the way, let me address my YouTube channel real quick. I have no intention on monetizing it. None of this has anything to do with getting a monetized YouTube channel. I don't need YouTube, and I've proved that. Am I making as much money as I was on YouTube? Uh, no, but do I want to go back and do what I was doing on YouTube? Uh, fuck no. Oh, hell no. I feel really shitty about all of this, but there's also a huge pressure off of me, too. I feel like I've been cleansed of, like, this this anger that's been fucking festering inside of me for so long. This poisonous toxicity, just fucking poison with this anger, dude. I don't want to sound corny or whatever, but that's just how it is. Oh, Mothra's got a uh, premiere at 2.20 p.m., question about an individual I'll have to watch that because I got to keep I got to keep up on this stuff I need uh yeah so here's my YouTube channel I'll be putting this replay up on there uh I'm only using YouTube because I can reach a larger audience faster and I can interact with people um I'll be honest with you, um, there have been several people, I won't block you immediately, but if you're just going to come in there and do a bunch of I told you so shit, I'm just, we're not, we're not progressing, so you're just going to have to go on Twitter and do that, okay? Because uh, a lot of people have been like posting more, of course, more bullshit, lies, insinuations, etc., etc., not engaging it, uh, nonsensical uh, conspiracies, it's just all kinds of stuff. Uh, JB, the best way to support me would probably be Patreon um, or here. But if you want to, um, I mean, if you want access to the Discord server, I mean, it's really up to you. Uh, if you want access to the Discord server, Patreon is the best way to go for support. If you want to just have access to Twitch subscriber-only chats, uh, which is only a couple days a week and, and have free no, uh, an ad-free experience, then you could do that here. But it's... Um, Twitch gets 50% of every sub. So if it's $5, we get $250. That's the, that's the handshake we agreement we have. And uh, Patreon, they take a, a certain amount every month. The Patreon server is fun. It's not... Somebody said it was toxic. It only became toxic when this shit came out. And it's only toxic because of the conversations we're having to have. The subject matter. That's the only toxic thing about it. Why does it keep... I already told it to stop monitoring you and stop restricting you. Why did I do that? I told the t I told you so stuff could be put on the archive because I don't engage anyone in the comments unless it's uh, to tell them that I am not next. Yeah, and anything I upload to my YouTube channel, please upload it to your YouTube channels if you have an archive channel or whatever it is. I don't care. I don't give a fuck. This is important information that needs to get out. This isn't about money or clout or subs or followers or any of that this is about somebody being fucking predatorial <laughs> yeah i'm gonna see if uh let's see if pencil fix live uh what's his name can't believe he spelled it b-o-i I'm not going to put him on the screen because I know that um, <laughs> 12.04, they late. I'm not going to put him on the screen. He's got Miss Hussey and McHenry Cruiser coming up. This is a disaster. McHenry Cruiser implied that me and another viewer of mine had uh, sexual uh, interactions with our children. So I just want you to keep that in mind when you go over there. And by the way, Miss Hussey studied psychology, so Ken knows what's best for you. Boy. The only time I ever see it spelled B-O-I is when somebody's saying boy pussy. That's the only time I see it spelled like that. Seriously. Or if I'm trying to emasculate a guy, I spell it B-O-I. 
<coughs> Excuse me, old man stuff. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, Marcel, get at me. Uh, Darth, you've done nothing to offend me that, that sticks out. I'm not even... I'm not even paying any mind. I, this dude is my full focus. It's the people who completely alienated me in my time of need and this motherfucker who took advantage of me in that during that time. Those are the only people I'm really disgusted with at this point. Pencil. Fucking top ramen dick. The most toxic motherfuckers I know study that. I took a psychology class in college, but that's it. And I was like, this sucks. I was too fucked. I was like, I know I'm fucked in the head. I don't need this class. We're all fucked. I think it was around then I just accepted that we were all mentally ill to some point and we're just judging each other on a chart, <laughs> on a scale, on a spectrum, if you will. Wow. Yeah. Hey, no, it's no big deal. People are coming over to Twitch. Uh, honestly, tragic death and, and pancakes were, were keeping a lot of people away like a plague, to be honest with you. I know a lot of people are here to, to, to watch this drama play out, and I'm fine with that. Um, but I know there's still a lot of people that are, would be here regardless if we were just watching 1987 commercials too. So, but this cop, these are conversations that are going to be had, and I apologize if it becomes redundant for anybody. Um, but I, it, it, there is a point where you kind of reach a catharsis in it, and then it just goes away. I mean, it doesn't go away; it resonates as a lesson, and then you move on. Are they pulling an RSN with the stream? Probably. The truth will set you free. I just, the truth did just set you free, Big T. But you're in good company. McHenry Cruiser, who said that, I mean, McHenry Cruiser also messaged like 50 of my Facebook friends. And I've been rather demure with this guy because he's severely mentally ill. I want you to understand that, that I have, I don't want to call it pity. I just call it empathy because I know he's suffering. Right, and I know what it's like to like. I got I got shit stemming from my, my one of my episodes. Right, he's having he had an episode. He says some really fucked up shit, but it will be continually referenced going forward when he is going to be associated with Big Boy Trage. I really don't want to see this motherfucker's face because he. I mean, this I don't even want to entertain. That he's uh, that he's even uh, gonna do anything. So, yeah, thirty-three people watching. I don't even want to see his face because he's got one. He's gonna be lying, lie, 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 and the chat's gonna be lit with uh, with with just gross shit. And, um, I mean, why, I, <laughs> if I want to lull, yes, but this dude's a predator. I don't even want to see him. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to see him. Because he, if the way he speaks is so monotone and calculated. Like, it looks like almost he has to think about every single solitary syllable he's saying. Cruiser's only responsible for what he said to me. And he did. He contacted 50 of my friends. And, um, on, um, on Facebook. And they all ignored him. And some of them even laughed at him and bagged on him because that's the crew I hang with is, are just a bunch of cynical, sarcastic assholes who have had kids and don't give a fuck about this internet shit. Because Cruiser used to be my boy, remember? Look, dude, it's bad boy Tragic and bad boy McHenry Cruiser. And then you got Miss Hussey. Holy shit. He's not calculated. Yeah, I mean. 
I'm gonna stay live. I don't really have anything much else to say. But I'm just gonna stay live. So um, I only lost six viewers when he went live. So I'm just gonna hang out here. Get him off my screen. Ugh. Him in a filter on his eyes. Filters. Ugh. I can't, man. Like, it's gonna take me a minute to shake this. You know? You don't understand filters? Well, I mean... <laughs> no, RSN's not live. Uh, big <laughs> big boy pussy trash is. <laughs> He's gonna have make me Henry Cruiser and uh, Miss Hussey on. You know, the, uh, the panel of credibility. Yeah, it's all good, pointless. I mean, we got to move. We got to keep pushing. Like I said, the only time I'm going to be platforming is is bagging on him, just making fun of him, or uh, just presenting evidence to you guys like we just did. The last two streams I've done, I will be uploading this to YouTube, and I will be um, <clears throat> only putting up the version where I uh, play Mothra J's video because that just seems to be the easiest way. So, for I mean, it's it's the it's it's easily accessible to others they can just fire it up and yeah he said he played me then acted like i was lying about it like what is that what is that <laughs> it's the black man oh god i can't man man i don't know what the hell either man I don't know what the hell either. Is he, uh, let's see how many people he's got watching now. 33. He's <laughs> still 33. I got a people. You're rocking with the. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. He's got 37 watching. Uh, David's over there, like, hey, lumpy dick nags. What's up, David? Enjoy hanging out with your sexual predator friend. Yep. I'm glad we got rid of all the trash guys. We we, we spared ourselves uh, probably a lot of future heartache. He's just on there doing his Fred Durst routine. It's fucking weird. It's weird. He's acting like he did when he was trying to like uh, flex on on Frank. When he was trying to flex on Frank and trying to be like you know fucking intimidating these guys and shit. That's what he's doing. I don't think he understands. I've had my ass whipped by bigger dudes. Okay, I'm not a big badass. I, was, I mean, I carry a gun because I don't want to fight. And, if, and I'm not, hey, I'm not trying to just rob somebody of their right to exist either. I'm trying to defend myself. But if you get on some fuck shit, I'm not trying. You got a knife? I'm not trying to wrestle you with a knife. Okay? Not doing it. <laughs> You'll come and charge it to me and my family? I'm not trying to deal with that. He did it to DC. He did it to Frank. He did it to Missy. You're just going to roll a joint and enjoy this day. Yeah, I'm going to as well. So if I don't reply to anybody on Discord right away, it's because I'm just going to be limiting my intake. I got to get groceries. We got a snowstorm coming. I got to go get a shovel. I think I got one in my garage. I got to go see if there's a bunch of cats out there. There's usually cats hiding out. This dude is so weird, man. It's the notorious. He wants to watch that old still. He's just, he's, he's in a kid's room. There's a shelf on the wall with kids' toys on it. 
and he's in there rocking out. He's in there rocking out, and he's about to defend himself against being exposed as a predator. I can't. He creeps me the fuck out now. It's hard to look at him. It's hard to look at that motherfucker. So, I'm gonna, you know what? That's why I'm not gonna. That's why I don't. I'm not gonna put it on the screen. That's why I'm not even gonna consume his content. Um, yeah, I just, I had to go see for myself. It's like watching a car crash. Um, yeah, so good riddance. Uh, like I said, I'm going to be focusing on making shit right. Reporting the facts. Cause I think, uh, Fit and Kirby, I owe an apology too. There's a lot. I mean, she's probably gonna tell me to go fuck myself too. And that's fantastic. I, I mean, but I've, I've been, I'm in the wrong. I, I'm just getting around to people. I think I'm up to like 10 people now. And I don't expect anybody to be my friend, chum up, watch streams, none of that. I'm just trying to be like, hey, I'll, you know, just fucking, Jesus Christ. So I wonder how many times Hussey's going to bring up my children while he's sitting there with the predator. Hi, Hussey. Uh, if anybody's going to tell Hussey anything, tell him that anything he says about my child going forward while he's on platform with that predator will be will be considered a, uh, what do you call it? A transgression. <laughs> a huge transgression. I'm sorry, Daddy gambled away your inheritance and you're stuck on welfare. Is it New Jersey Housewives tonight? Yeah, buddy. I don't watch that stuff, but... I would say the best bet, and, I, and, I, and I'm not going to tell anybody what to consume and what not to consume. Me, personally, now, when I look at him, it's very... It's almost triggering because he's just gross. Um, I wouldn't even consume anything that he's saying because... Everything we saw today just showed that everything he said was a lie. So going forward, everything he says is a lie. And the only people that are going to believe it are the 35 people in his chat. Am I cooking anything today? Uh... Maybe. Maybe not. Thank you for the bits. Oh get to the chopper. Hurry, get to the chopper. Rowan Warren cheered. X200. Thank you, Rowan. All hail, please. Just keeping an eye on the time. <laughs> the three stooges. Mm, certainly. Yeah, see, he's it's it's the same thing. Like remember when uh remember when I broke up with RSN and he flipped out and you know I hope he stays out of this unless he's going to platform what I just did, which was the truth. But I mean, he could just say, well, you know, it's nags. Everything he does is wrong, which you're not. Everything I've done for the last year is pretty, pretty much wrong. Yeah. So you're not, you're half right. Can't feel my tongue still in one spot. It's crazy. It's been two weeks. Like, give me a break. Yeah, I did. I broke up with him. He was heartbroken. Uh, it's the end of an era. It is. Yes, Sammy. I, I think I said something at the beginning that he still has people in his community that could be targets by uh by by matthew and that's concerning 
but if you go and you if you want if you want to get a good vibe for who he is bolstering now go to his channel he has more people watching him now than he's probably had with him talking about anybody else um but go over there and look and see who he's got his claws in now and just keep an eye out that's all you gotta do it's the internet it's big enough for everybody he just needs to stay in his hey. his lane. That's pretty good. <laughs> Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for subscribing. Poor poor Joe Biden. <clears throat> they make you speak on a mic before you go in there. My Discord server is open to anybody who contributes uh, five or ten dollars on Patreon. It is. Ain't nothing going on in there. I don't give a fuck. You want to share a meme? Go for it. Want to share a picture of your dog? Sure. Want to share a recipe? Yeah. Do we talk about drama? Absolutely. Especially this bullshit. Uh, are we scheming? No. No. The really only ones that were on any fuck shit was tragic. Fucking death. That was about it, really. This is insanity. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to tell you right now, though, I am relieved to be out of that cycle of insanity. You know, I mean, now now I got to deal with the fallout, but like, I'm glad to be out of that. This is, this is super. It's a nicer place that you took the trash out. It happened pretty quick, too. Um, yeah, if you don't pay every month, you get kicked out. Yes, that's how it works. That way people can't skirt the, the system. That's why I do it that way. And I don't monitor. I mean, I, I, I'm, I think I'm the only mod in the Discord right now. I'm probably going to make somebody a mod later. Because uh, death had run a few people off that I really appreciated and valued. And they're back now because, well, because these people are gone. I don't know how many people have come back. 30? <laughs> That's a lot of people that enjoy the community. To leave. You know? The paranoia is incredible. Are you watching him uh bud babe or are you talking about rsn's paranoia like what are you worried about in your discord what are you doing in your discord servers man you know what i'm saying just take it easy that's adorable oh hang on a second did i uh oh yeah these are these are backwards that's what happened my patreon and my and my uh Instagram or backwards. God, I need to like this shit has got me so focused on outing this garbage that I have I didn't even I didn't even notice that my, my medias were backwards. Jesus. <laughs> the lies are mind blowing. Oh, I'm sure. Oh, I'm sure. I mean He's saying he never accused C. See, here we go. He's got he's got to spin a new narrative for the new people, for the new batch of sycophants. <laughs> Pointless. It's just straight to the point, really. <laughs> Jesus. We, we, we have we have <laughs> we have quite a few uh, uh, ladies in the community who are busty there we go <laughs> or in the chat or in the community, whatever uh, so break tension the fuck did I do this thing man I couldn't even get that to draw this sucks I'm sure she took no offense. Uh, 
Oh, I can't believe this is even like a thing that is happening. 49 people watching. I'm not clicking on it. Because she, uh, Missy already said he's fucking lying. So. All right, I am going to wrap it up here. I'm going to go get some lunch and uh, just go listen to the music. I w I'd recommend not watching him because all he's doing is gaslighting. That's it. Unless you want to try to, to be gaslit or resist being gaslit. And that's not me trying to gaslight you. <laughs> that's him. That's what he's doing. So, yeah. Yeah. So, anyway, guys, let's catch. What is today? Tuesday? Oh, we got a stream tonight. We got a stream tonight, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Join me. Bye-bye.